tiêu trốn hết rồi hôm nay anh, anh, là, anh là chủ yếu mà anh là thầy mà <cười> oh no có tệ không à, ok mấy đứa chuẩn ok hello mê nghe rõ chuẩn bị lên bàn mổ chưa Em chuẩn bị đang luộc nước sôi, luộc để con bé luộc con gà nè, luộc mấy con gà của bác sĩ Loan nè à. Say hello Ok, go Ok Rồi à, Bây giờ ha, bây giờ thì uh, trước hết thì có, trước hết nói chuyện với mấy em một chút xíu À, nghe mấy đứa nghe rõ không? Nghe rõ à, Đây là cái người con với con mấy con này mới vô này là con này con gái của mình à, Con con xấu nhất trong nhà ừ. à, Rồi bây giờ thì trước hết thì à, Bây giờ mấy em có Trước đây con mấy đứa con muốn nói gì trước đi Để trước khi rồi tụi này nói Bây giờ mấy em có cái ý kiến gì đó thì cứ nói thẳng đi nói thật sự thì ở bên xứ uh, người thì cái cái tình thầy trò nó không nó không có cái cái bức tường ngăn ở giữa bây giờ mình muốn nói gì nói ok mình lấy kinh nghiệm mình học hỏi lẫn nhau chứ không có cái vụ mà thầy trò không là tiến sĩ giáo sư nói chuyện gì hết đó thì mấy em cứ thẳng thắn đi để muốn cái gì á các em cứ nói ra nhưng mà nói dụ giả sử như thầy dạy dở quá rồi hay là anh Vân khó anh bác sĩ Vân khó tính quá hay gì cứ nói thẳng ra ha cái này không ai không ai có giận giỏi gì hết mình chỉ cái cuối cùng mình chỉ mong là dù mẹ em học được chút nào hay chút nấy để đối với tụi tôi thì cái này nó khó quá tại vì dạy cho một cái lớp sinh ngữ mà đi vô chuyên môn này mà nó có cái tìm cái phương án nào cho nó dạy đúng nhất có thể làm mà em khó chịu ví dụ nó nó bữa nay tuần này thay đổi tuần sau thay đổi nó tùm lum hết à. vậy thì bây giờ mấy người có đại diện có nhất là ba bác sĩ mà đại diện trong nhóm em á mấy anh chị có nói ý kiến gì đi giúp cho tụi tôi nói thử coi thử rồi ví dụ mà tôi tôi lấy ý kiến đó để tôi làm cái trường chương trình lớp tới cái chương trình tuần tới tốt hơn ví dụ như phú coi phú nói chuyện sao coi phú à các thầy cô nghe rõ thầy cô nghe nghe các bạn có ý kiến gì không à ôi em đâu có ý kiến gì <cười> dạ em thì không có ý kiến gì thầy cô ấy <cười> à, nhưng mà chắc là em cũng có tham khảo cái ý kiến của chị Vân trên group á thì em nghĩ là nếu mà mình set up thì mình cụ thể một cái deadline hàng tuần luôn cố định luôn thì à, các bạn à, ví dụ mà các bạn có lỡ không có theo cập nhật cái trên group à, hàng ngày á, thì người ta cũng không có bị miss cái à, cái deadline đó em nghĩ là vậy Nói sao ý kiến thầy sao bà sao <cười> <cười> bà sao à, chưa phú cũng là học trò cũng biết mấy cái bánh rồi rồi đừng có xài nữa đừng chiêu đều <cười> <cười> rồi bây giờ quan trọng là mấy mấy đứa phải có ý kiến không có ý kiến không có không có được làm được á à, thì bây giờ bây giờ vô bây giờ không có ý kiến thì bây giờ vô chương trình chút xíu để bây giờ để, để tiết kiệm thời gian thì bây giờ mấy em á là cái cái tôi nghĩ lý do mà tôi đưa cái new format này là có thể là đây là có thể đó là trong tương lai các em cũng phải xài nếu các em muốn à, học lên à, hay ra hay ra nước ngoài thì để có nó gọi là Oski thường thường á nó có hai cách một đó là cái cách mà tôi mới đăng lên cái thứ hai là role play nhưng mà thường thường bây giờ role play nó khó bây giờ đa số tất cả các trường đại học nó đưa vô cái Oski có nghĩa là mình nói ra những cái gì mình muốn hỏi chứ mình không nói trực tiếp với bệnh nhân như là if I want to do this I want to ask this question I want to do this exactly cái trong cái đầu mình muốn làm cái gì để mình nói ra thì thôi chứ không phải là I want to ask you how you got to pay. That's a role play. So this is a new method when you know you you ask you to think what question you would ask, and you uh, do investig examination, you do investigation, and you do the treatment. But in for order to for easy to do it, first of all you have to realize what the case is, 
And what in your mind, what differential diagnosis? So most of the time, this, my student will say, if I give them a case of UTI, uh, this is a case proper, proper, properly UTI, but my differential diagnosis could be nephritis, blah, blah, blah. And I would ask the question. So that means in your mind, you do have an idea what you what the case is and what your differential diagnosis and working based on that one, you work out the solution. So that make it easier. So next time when you do the case, I'm not sure because next four weeks won't be my weeks, but we have to talk between our instructors to see whether we make sure we, you know, we, 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 we agree with one method rather than jump in one method different week with a different instructor. So what you need, I like you to do, this is my, if I give you the case UTI, so you just say, oh, this is the case of UTI, but with different differential diagnosis would be blah, blah, blah. And now I would like to have to ask these questions. Okay, and you just, okay, I'm like to interview myself, I might ask these questions to people spending too much time. I like to interview myself, I will ask a patient, you know, detail, and I greet the patient, ask the patient for the consent. That's all. You need that just one simple sentence, not too long, okay? People spend too much time, I like, how are you, what the, we don't like it. We just say, do you remember this end again? I like, I, I will introduce myself, I will ask the patient, you know, details, and we ask the patient to consent for the, or, you know, the taking history, and I will proceed with the case. That's it. Five seconds, no longer. And, and once sometimes you have to cut down a bit too far more, I'll, I'll lead you next, you know, few cases, show you how the, the way, how to take it. But most of the, the case we listen on the, on the, um, uh, on the internet, um, I think some of them miss a point miss the way how I would like to do. So I, I posted two or three, you know, example that what I like to do, probably the yeah, probably have, haven't done it before, so it might be quite difficult. But I think probably long term you have to get that habit into you. This is the way how the OSCE run. Unless the examiner say I like to do role play, I'm the patient, you are the doctor you will ask the question, then that's a different format now. And you say, yes, you are a doctor. Hello, Mrs. Smith. My name is Blur. I would like to ask a question. How long you had the pain for and when the pain started? That's the code rule play. So these two formats are completely different, but OSCE is, you know, they will, the will, examiner will tell you what, to, what you want to, need to do. And another thing, like examination and family history, you spend too much time in family history or past history. It's too much, you elaborate too many things, you're wasting time. If the case relates to the current, concurrent problem, then you might have to ask it, like past history, like you have a kidney renal stone, you get a kidney infection in the past, and you have trouble with your past urine incontinence in the past, yes, you do. But some other case, it's, it's simple, like ask, I would, you do you have, I would like to ask a patient, do they have any past significant medical past or surgical history? That's all done. You don't need to ask more. It is that examiner will tell you, yes, I do. And you will ask again you know, a more question. We have to prompt you to take that more past history. Same thing like family history. So just a lot of people having difficulty with asking family history. You have to ask, do you, I would like to ask, is there any significant medical or surgical history? That's it, done. If, you, if you're talking about patient with hypertension or, yeah, or breast cancer, I would like to ask a family history, and you have family history of breast cancer, hypertension, or diabetes. The most specific one did not all, you know, ask so many things about your family history which are irrelevant to the case. You're wasting so much time. Medication, simple. Do you, I would like to ask whether the patient taking any medication or over the counter medication. That's all you need to ask. With the examiner, we will tell you what the patient will take. You don't have to elaborate. Are you taking, if the patient with GIT bleeding, of course I will ask the patient taking non steroidal or something else. But it's just simple term to take, or I like to ask whether the patient taking medication and we'll tell you what they're taking. Allergy, don't take too much time to take an allergy. Do you have any allergy? That's it, done. Food, 
food, you don't have to tell food, take an allergy of food. You can tell allergy will tell you what allergy the patient have. And in an examination, always, always build in your habit that general look, feel, and move. Three things you can't miss from it. A lot of people skipping the, you know, look. What you look, you look medicine when you make a diagnosis. And when you look at a patient, you almost got 30% chance you make a right diagnosis. Remember that you have to stick to look, feel, and move. General observation, if the patient had drawn the patient had cachexic, patient looked, you know, very drawn, very pale looking, anemic. You see a lot of things you can see from that. And by your patient can breathe very fast, patient, you know, look unwell. See, that's the look. Look, 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 have to give it. Quite a few cases have been posted without that general physical observation. You have to build one in. You're not going to miss it. And vital side, regardless of patient, you know, you have to do vital side. Yeah. In Vietnam, all the nurses done all, you know, all the vital side. But in order you build into your habit, you, I like to know the vital side. You don't have to do it. I like to know the vital side because you know the nursing staff has done for you. Thank you, just ask. Or I like to take, you know, to, to check the vital side. Then we will tell you what the vital side. If you want to see more, I want a little vital side, blood pressure, temperature, you know, like, like respiratory rate and, and, and so, uh, pulse rate. That's the way you have to stick. It. It's not going to be missed. It's not going to miss, miss that you are part of your examination. Now, secondly, and you think about systematically, you don't not going to lose it because you you don't you skip you jump straight into the GIT, jump straight uro, urological problem. You have to ask. I like to do you know general examination, a cardiovascular, respiratory, thyroid examination. Just general, you can do general quickly. You're not going to take a long time. But examiner said will said tell you that's normal. Okay, that's done. And you and now next step then you, I go to specifically with this problem. I look at a GIT track problem. Then you go in that GIT track. It's all specific, but don't overlook. Don't don't forget about all general. Look at the patient. Just not a single problem, but whole problem. Now with it, and you come up with differential diagnosis. You have to make that into because there's so many things can present the same thing. You have to get it in. And you do investigation. Be careful with investigation. So many cases, people go straight into the, the highest, the most you know, expensive investigation. I know Vietnamese patients will love it. You know, if you order MRI, they like it. But what MRI give you information? You have to ask yourself, how much money you have to spend to get that information out? When you do the simple blood test, you can tell. So mainly, first of all, blood test, ECG, whatever, something simple, and you go on, move on to higher degree to confirm, to help you to come up with a diagnosis, right? And after diagnosis, you propose a treatment based on your diagnosis, based on something simple. But again, like last night, you know, Dr. Mindo, I feel, you know, a couple of, you know, I was a bit irate because a lot of people just go straight to pharmaceutical. Patients smoking, you know, and patients are obese, patients are diabetes. What you need to do? The global picture, you have to treat them first called preventative medicine. Preventative medicine in Vietnam is still lacking because everyone just jumps straight into gun to treat the patient. So you, if the patient would be smoking, I will make sure the patient stops smoking. I will advise the lifestyle, dietary change, weight loss, and I will advise them to, you know, this, this, and all these things you work around first before you jump into treatment patient. So these are very long talk to, but I love, I love if you can follow this, you know, guideline. You go into the case systematic. Next time you just like exactly you turn the book, you can see that right in front of you there. If you go through, you don't develop it's something you don't have to think about it because it's all ingrained in your mind. You don't have to do. The lastly, I I like to mention to you about related to the journal club last night. These days we don't treat as the professor told you, told you. 
not a, not a professor or dean say whatever they got a long title told you how to do it this is the world of evidence based medicine you have so many guidelines there you have so much information taken in, in you know journal club or journal there you have to base on the guideline you treat the patient there one be you know you know that because how much time we will we'll put in to build a guideline take months take year you look at consensus how long it take consensus about hypertension diabetes three years that long how many expert to put in that thousand so you base on the consensus and all these things you will get on and you don't you're hesitant when you do I might think I'm worried professor at that your my your university would say you wrong of course he got his own opinion but guideline there consensus there you treat like HRT. What HRT that consensus there? Why don't we stick to it? You treat it. And you don't. You tell the patient this is scientific based. So again, in order you forward in your medical career, take history important, examination, investigation based on these treatment, and there will be, be an excellent doctor. I can see a lot of, you know, the, the, the you know, aspire a vibration from your, your group. But listen and just try to get more information in. We might be wrong. You got you can challenge us at no problem. But if you do a way gender observation, you're not gonna miss it. By the side, you're not gonna miss it. Okay? And blood pressure can tell you a lot of things. Pulse rate can tell you a lot of things. Temperature can tell you a lot of things. You're not missing just jump straight and just poke in the patient tummy to find information. No. That no, no. Step, you walk slowly and you're going to pace. You've been taught by a lot of people in the shortcut way that you never, never succeed in practice medicine in, in other, other parts outside your country. And you're more liable to litigation later. You're going to miss it. They're not going to forgive you. Okay, so now what next? Um, I think, I, I yep. uh, first, I would like to say that is my mistake when I guide the, people, the students about how to do their homework, because usually the, I just follow the own plan rather than the OSCE like you say. So that's, that's the reason why sometimes um, the students still uh, have a mixture between the OSCE and the role play. So this is all my mistake in here. So today, I would like that uh, Dr. Fu will guide you more how to do OSCE today so we, we can feel the difference between them. Thank you. Uh, now, um, I'd like to, first of all, I think um, it's hard to do role play today, but I think um, you, I, I pick up the, the best, best one to do case first. Uh, I might do, you can do, Based on the case you have done, okay, and I now I switch to the role as a role play patient and doctor, and you based on the case you have prepared and you go through with me this case, and you got only ten minutes. After ten minutes, I will cut you out, okay. If any question, I will help you along the case and you go through. Now, um, I like to fire up first. I like to invite the full down to come up. Just make the uh, opening of this lesson, and I'm the patient, and he will be a doctor. And the case he has presented, he, he did very well. I'm very, 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 you know, very proud of him. So now you come up to microphone, and I'm the patient. You got 10 minutes exactly after 10 minutes, I'll cut you out. And you, can you tell the uh, people in your audience that what case are you doing? Yeah, hello everyone. Hello, Dr. Wu and Dr. Lee. My case is a 44-year-old male with uh, Melina for four weeks. Okay, I'm the patient, you're the doctor, and my name is uh, Mr. Smith. I'm 49-year-old man. Okay, go. Ahead. Okay, go. Ahead. Yeah. Hello, my name is Paul. Uh, your internal medicine physician. Nice to meet you. Um, could you tell me what brought you here today? 
Um, I just noticed I got very black stool for like, you know, when I went to the toilet, I look at the toilet bowl, it's very black. Yeah, I see. So, uh, um, how long have you noticed that problem? Uh, probably only for the last three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything happened at the first time? What were you doing then? Um, I just went to the toilet. I saw the black stool you know, in the toilet. I'm a bit worried. Yeah. And how about the volume? Do you pass the stool? Uh, 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 no, I think it's normal. It's not not nothing different from normal. You know, more bowel. You know, yeah, habit. And it just uh, black stool or sometimes fresh blood in it. I, I'm not sure. I see a look at the toilet bowl, it's just completely black, very dark black. And does, does it have an abnormal smell, not a very bad smell? Um, I think most of the time the toilet is smelly, isn't it? Okay. Uh, but I think it, yeah, quite smelly. Yeah, I see. And is there any other symptoms that go along with it, like uh, pain in your back? Yeah, I have a lot of abdominal tummy pain for the last three weeks too. A lot of pain. So you have, uh, you have noticed uh, there is no pain? It's, it's a pain. I have a lot of significant pain in my tummy. Yeah. And, um, so um, does the pain come and go or it just stay there? Uh, the pain actually come and go, very like something squeezing my bowel, it really yeah. like, like spasm. Yes, and um, every time you have that pain, you have to go to the toilet? Or, yeah, I really, really want to go to the toilet, empty my bowel. Yeah, and then you found the black stool. Yeah, that's right, and the pain is slightly better. Yeah. Um, do you uh, feel like uh, lots of energy in this uh, time? Yeah, I feel, you... a bit, I feel a bit tired for the last three months. I'm getting tired so easy. Yeah, and is there anything else that if you're wrong with your body? No, I think I'm right. I'm still working. I still have to earn money to help my family. Okay, and I want to know more about, know more about your past medical history. So, uh, did you have any uh, disease before? Uh, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, doctor. Yeah, like, um, do you have um, any problem with your hair, like something, uh, the disease of your uh, GI tract? Do you? Um, uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty healthy, very healthy. I look after myself well. Yeah. Um, do you uh, do you uh, using some kind of medication, some drugs? No, no, I don't take. I, I hate taking medicine. Yeah, I hate. I hate taking medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So, have you noticed a black stool or the pain in your stomach before this episode? Not no, 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 just only three months ago. It start, started, you know, started three months ago. Yes. Um, and have you taken any treatment before you come to my clinic? Uh, I think they, they, they went to the pharmacy, they give me some, you know, thing, antacid, try to help my, my stomach and, yeah. and nothing else. Just, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm too busy. Yeah. Um, um, have you noticed any change in your weight recently? I think I lost about five kilograms. I lost a five, yeah. I was, no, I, was, I was 65, now I'm, like, I'm only, only 60. Oh, yeah. Um, um, and I want to know more about if you have any change in your bowel habits. Do you notice that uh, recently you have diarrhea or dry stool? No, no, I have. To, uh, I think my bowel habit changed. Sometimes I have a diarrhea. Sometimes I have constipation. 
Yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, I want to ask some questions about your family. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone in your family has the same problem like you? No, no, no. They all, apart from you know, blood pressure, diabetes. I don't think anyone have any problem with the bowel. Yes. Um, okay. Um, I think I'm done with asking you, and I would like to uh, make some uh, examination in order to know more what is happening with you. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, play. I want to know what's wrong with me, doctor. Um, people uh, with black stones may be having some bleeding in their GI tract. That means the gastrointestinal system. And so I have to check your um, uh, your belly and your um, some something related to your GI tract in order to know where is the point of bleeding. Of course, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, doctor. Yeah, I really want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, I would like to, to check your vital signs. I want to know about your blood pressure, your pulse. Uh, a vital sign, normal. <laughs> and I would like to check your um, nails, your the palm of your hands, and your mucus brain in order to know if you have a severe anemia. Uh, they know they and all normal. <laughs> uh, okay, and and then I would check your abdomen. Abdomen. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you show me your belly? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my belly. Yeah, okay. What do you like to do, doctor? Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, to have a, a look around and mm -hmm. see if there are any abnormal with the shape of your abdomen. Yeah, okay. thing is normal, and I found no distension. Yeah, and yeah, and then I would um, I would. Uh, would uh, use my stethoscope to work here for the bowel movement. Is there something wrong with that? And then I would, at, at the moment, do you feel any pain in your... Yeah, I've got pain in all, in all around my tummy. Yeah, okay. So I would palm hate your uh, belly, but uh, I would do it uh, gently. Is that okay? Yeah. What would you like to know? Uh, I would like to to uh, feel for any um, painful area, like yeah, pain, your yeah, get pain all around the tummy, yeah, pain everywhere. But with a very slight touch, is that make you feel worse? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's light touch, fine, but deep, your deep, professionally painful. Okay, and I would I would pump to to feel for any mass in your abdomen. No mass. Yeah, and then I would uh, I would need another person to come with me to do the um, uh, you know the digital uh, rectum examination. Oh yeah, go I ahead, doctor. I no, I, I think <laughs> if you want to do, just do it, doctor. Okay, I, I want to know what's wrong with me. So uh, I I will explain to you what I'm gonna do. First of all, I have to wear my gloves on. And then what, I would. What, what do you like? Want to know from the digital examination? Yes, I would. I would like to know about anything wrong with uh, the wall of the rectum. Something wrong in the inside. Is there any mass or uh, neoplasm? And then I would. Um, what, 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 what neoplasm, doctor? Uh, it's kind of tumor. Oh, A tumor. tumor! I'm I'm having cancer. Maybe because uh, people with like uh, stool can have a cancer. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to die, doctor. Um, don't worry, because uh, no, uh, we, I'm very worried. No, no, you can't say don't worry. I'm very worried, doctor. <laughs> so just take a deep breath and calm down, okay? No, no, no. I'm very calm, doctor. I'm very calm. I want to know. Okay. Um. After doing the uh, detailed examination, I'm gonna um, explain to you what is your problem. Okay, so, tell um, me what, yeah, can you tell me what my problem, please, doctor? 
Okay, after uh, doing the uh, um, digital rectal examination, I found that the lower stone is black, and I think maybe you are having a a uh, tumor. Maybe you have been uh, the colon cancer, and I think I have to do some investigation, some colonoscopy to. Yes, 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 doctor. Yes, doctor. Please do quickly. Um, you tell me I'm having cancer. I got my family here. I can't die, doctor. <laughs> um, is time's up? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for your exam, your investigation, and what else you want to um, do? Your time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, let you have some colonoscopy. That means I use a tube to uh, insert in your bowel and and find is there any uh, tumors? You understand okay. what I'm saying? You yeah. you like to stick you like to stick something to my bum so quickly, doctor. You want to uh, do something else before you do it, or just like I think sound like you would just really want to do it. Need to take some blood in order to do some blood test to check for if you have anemia or something wrong with your kidney or liver. That right. would be probably we would do the emit test and the blood test in mm -hmm. order to exact diagnosis for you. Okay. And when we can okay. Mm, okay, my health, my insurance only pay me very little. Can you just do some simple tests? And can you tell me what's wrong with me? Um, you make me really worry now. I'm having cancer. I want to have a really quick answer now, doctor. Um, uh, okay, after doing the colonoscopy, and I, find, and I found a tumor in your... Uh, no, no, how color. do you know you found a tumor? Oh, I, I do have cancer, really? Do you have um, a cancer? How do you know that? Um, not at the moment because I have to uh, look at the result of the bio biopsy. Oh, right. Okay. Well, so, you want to do biopsy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we I have to I, wait. Uh, yeah, I heard someone can do ultrasound or just CT scan to look and see any mass. No, no. I, I think we should do a CT scan to look for any metastasis. Uh, oh, you uh, think that, 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 oh, so you think I've got very advanced cancer? You've got uh, very advanced cancer. Is it very late stage cancer? No. Oh, um, right. but, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Oh, I make me feel better now. Um, okay. And, um, All right. Okay. Uh, and, you want to stop here? All right. Okay. Uh, all right, okay. Where the class, I have seen the class reaction. Where the class gone? Um, where, old, um, where the class, I haven't got seen the where. Let me switch the camera. No. Okay, sorry, uh, Info. I, I, I make a suggestion. Let uh, Dr. Dong Fu. Assess, self assess what he's, he, he's thinking. He, he's thinking about what can we go do better and what he is. Okay, let him think a little bit and the other students have some ideas too. Because we would like them feedback that maybe we don't, we, we don't have time to go all of you, but at least learn case by case which one that the most mistake you make and the most improvement. I think so. That's my suggestion. Um, I like to get class feedback. Uh, come up, everyone come up quickly. Give me feedback. Uh, what you know? What we? What he can do better? So, uh, he doing okay, uh, but but still, you know, of okay, course, everyone do make mistake. I may be missing a lot of point, but I like. People learn things from other people, you know, mistake, and we learn better. And the way constructive criticism, everyone say constructive, not not criticize. I don't want to criticize anyone criticizing, but constructive. Okay, so class, tell me what 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 something I'm not happy. So why I'm not happy? 
So can I uh, can I show up my opinion first? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> out of the, I'm gonna be the first uh, students to come to the the, the test, but so I'm kind of nervous. But um, so I think I may miss some uh, some information about the patient. I I haven't asked about uh, his uh, habits, his lifestyle, and those information may give us a lot of thinking about the problem of the patient. And in the, um, the examination, when the, the patient becomes very nervous, um, it just makes me kind of don't know what to do next. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of panicked. And so um, I'm like the experience to calm down the patient, to um, I don't know when I'm telling the patient, I'm thinking if they are having cancer, that makes the patient be very, uh, like uh, they are very nervous. They worry a lot. Um, okay, um, I, okay I, 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 maybe the feedback, we go back to the same problem like, like for last few sessions. Um, I just quickly um, pointing out and we go to the next one and we'll go back later and I'd like you to look at this, you know, your presentation. Mm -hmm. There are a few things, um, probably, I think it might be lucky you haven't been bashed up by the patient. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Okay. Um, first of all, a class member, just, I'm not sure what your, the coach in Vietnam said, but don't tell the patient, don't worry, take a deep breath. We hate to hear that. You know, you can't. You can't tell the patient, is it? I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm not sure at the moment, but i like to know I try to help you. Don't worry. Take a deep breath. Sit back. And really, really get really angry with you, you know. And don't tell the patient having cancer because you don't know yet. You don't. Even the patient yeah. have a cancer, I never tell them I have to get whole family in. And I, you know, so what you, I like to know, you, you, you forgot a general observation. This man very obese, obese, and look very unwell. See, you didn't ask me that question. And you also, you know, cardiovascular respiratory tract, he might get a heart, you know, failure because he's so obese. That's the way. You're missing that point. And abdominal examination, I want you to tell me what you want to look for. You think this man got cancer? You have to tell me aside the patient get you know like mass old old palpation deep old, you know like rebound tenderness all this and you have to spell in one sentence you're not long on that and examination you have to you know check into any edema swelling sometimes got a mass in the pelvis or something can call swelling and investigation don't go straight in. you do digital examination that's fine but you when you do any test all the class understand it. When you do test, you want to examination, you need to know what you're looking for. You just not just do it because you've seen your you know, professor do it. You do a digital examination, you ask for permission, get your chaperone, that's right. But you need to know whether patient any mass, any abnormality on the rectal wall. And I check the stool. Where the stool? You can do it. Look at the stool color. You take it. You test for cancer cell in the stool. You do cytology testing. And you can do, you know, blood test, look at anemia, anemia, check liver function, check kidney function, and you look at and you do outer cell, look at abdominal mass, and you do any anxiety, do CT scan, you look for any abdominal mass, no metastasis in here. If not advanced cancer, no cancer yet. Okay. Then after that, you said, oh, this is the case when you've been having blood bleeding and some, you know, I need to do more investigation to confirm it. And a patient asks you, I'm having cancer. You just said, no, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, but I need to find out. Maybe you might have some bleeding from, you know, your 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 intestinal tract. But it could be something else. The worst can case will be cancer, but we need to do out. How we do out? You do biopsy colonoscopy. So this is the way of approaching the patient. With the patient angry, he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, I might be, you know, make me you worry. But I let me go back. This let me go back. Yeah. Let me go back. Sorry, sorry, it's nothing accepting guilty here. Okay? But don't worry, take deep breath. They no no. That no no in medicine. Okay? But that's that's okay. Well everyone had a different, you know, this case hard. Huh? But 
I want the next 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 person come up, and we will go through quickly, and I'll, I'll provide feedback at the end. Okay, thank you, Phu Dong. Okay, quick. Uh, before the other next one uh, show up, I would like to make sure that in the next one, make sure that about different different shows diagnosis. Just most people just jump to the diagnosis right away, even that you have the diagnosis there. But you have to list, like in your case, huh? you have the people have blood packs too. So you don't jump right away to the cancer. You have to think that what is the cause? Maybe black stone come from infection or some, something before you tell the patient that it's possible that this one, number one, number two, number three, or so, uh, so I will carry out all the lab tests or things and begin from the simple test to the complicated one. In this case, I am just wondering about digital examination. Eh? In this case, it's really in vain. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, I'd like to do next one. I'd like to invite the one who do the kidney infection, UTI. Make it easy. Switch the topic then. Um. Uh, and then can you time, time uh, just 10 minutes and we cut, okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Joe, uh, I am, okay, what's your case, quickly? I'm a 27-year-old lady person, so much in the room with a Q1 set of severe renal colic. She has history of recent UTI. Okay, I'm the patient, you're the doctor. I'm a 27-year-old lady who presenting with, the, you know, renal uh, pain and also have the past history of the UTI. You go ahead, um, just call me Mrs. B. Um, I'm 27. Hello, doctor. Hello, uh, Ms. A. Oh, Ms. A. Uh, I'm a okay. four-year student. Uh, with, uh, okay. Nine, nine. okay, nice meeting you. What would you like to know, doctor? So, uh, can you tell me what you doing today? Um, I've got a pain in my kidney and also i got a bit burning when I'm passing urine. Okay, tell me more about your pain. Where is it? Uh, the pain just right now, I'm back. It's near my, near my ribs. And just oh you know on you know, mainly on my left side. Uh, can you what what kind of the pen? Uh, is sharp or dull or burning? A uh, quite dull aching. It just lasts forever. It didn't go away, doctor. Is this calm and go? No, no, just uh, stay there. Yeah, it's constant there, constant. Does the band move anywhere else? Uh, mainly just stay where it is. Sometimes it go back to my, to go to my lower back. But most in general, just stay where, you know, my ribs are behind, you know, my back. Okay. Can you tell me, are the symptoms associated? I can hear you, sorry. Can you tell me about all the symptoms associated with the pain? What you like to, uh, symptom, what symptom, doctor? What do you like to know? Uh, do you have fever or nauseous or something uh, else? Yeah, I feel a bit, I have a low grade temperature for the last few days. And also I feel nauseous every time I, I smell food, I want to vomit. Um, in when you feel pain, did you do something to make it better or worse? Um, no, nothing. I, I take you know pa um, paracetamol, and sometimes I take you know codeine, uh, helping a bit. But after a few hours, and the pain come back again. Now you can. Uh, Tell me about your band in the pen scale. With uh, zero is no, 
No pain, Anthony. Very, very pain. I, I have a very high pain threshold, so usually I don't take anything for pain. So, but this one maybe about six out of ten. Okay. Uh, I will ask about your past history. Yeah, what uh, would you like you, to know, Doctor? Yeah. Did you have some? Yeah. yeah. Did you have some treatment before, especially about your kidneys? Um, I had a few episodes of your bladder infection, and the doctor gave me antibiotics, and it went away. But, but I don't think I have any anyone tell me I have a kidney infection before. Did you have some drugs or treatment in this time? No, I just take only paracetamol, um, and I haven't taken any been taken any antibiotic yet. Um, I'll ask about your family. I uh, uh, your about your member in the family. Do they have some disease like you or the pain like you? No, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they all they all healthy. How about your habit? Uh, do uh, this your smoking or drinking? You call my smoking my habit. Okay. Um, I do smoke. You know, Vietnamese, most of men are smoking anyway. So if I don't smoke, my friend would tell me that I'm, I'm you know, I'm a woman. How many pack uh, do you smoke one you, per day? I only, I only smoke about one packet a day, about 20 cigarettes a day. How about alcohol? Uh, you know, Vietnam, everyone drink alcohol anyway, so I'll drink whatever when the party, I'll drink, and we bottom up until I pass out. In my advice, I suggest that you stop or relieve it. Do you drink alcohol, doctor? No. All right, okay, all right, I'll follow you then, okay. Mm -hmm. About the water, uh, do you drink how how much how many bottles of water do you drink per day? Um, I love water. I drink a lot of water. I always carry a bottle of water with me. Enough. Uh, yeah, I drink about two three liter a day. Okay. Now I will summarize your case. Uh, you are 27 years old, and you are feel pain in the back, in mm. the left of your. It still stay, and uh, don't stress, don't spread to anywhere else. Mm. Um, you are smoke and drink alcohol. You drink two to three uh, liter of water per day. Mm. So, and I think. Uh, you have a renal colic with the stone stuck into your urinary tract. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because because in the in the past you have the UTI. It make me think a lot about the uh, mm. renal. So okay. Okay. I think wow. Okay. So what are you going to do now, doctor? I advise you to do CT scan to see where the stones in your urine, and if okay. it is a black stone, we mm. will do uh, it for you. All right. You you order CT scan. The CT scan come back show normal result, no kidney stone. Anything else, doctor? I'm got burning when I'm passing urine. Uh, um, so, anything else you'd like to do? Help me at the moment. I'm in pain. I'm a bit worried about my my kidney. Is there anything else, doctor? Um, what about something you want to test my urine, seeing whether I've got an infection in there? Yeah, I got it.
Now you want to test my urine? You see any infection, any white cell count, nitrites, something I heard someone on the internet. I read in Google before I come to see. So they said to check my urine, something you could put a little stick in the urine to test something that I heard on the internet. Something out of cell, something I heard something, a few things you were mentioning. But I need to do something for me, doctor. I'm in pain, I'm worried about my kidney. Anything else you want to do? Yeah, Dr. Dean. <laughs> oh, okay, so, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so, you want to get a second person to come in to help, or just you want to push I'd on? I'd like to uh, tell uh, class something. If you have 10 minutes of interview, you should say, stay maximum about five minutes for questions. And then five minutes up to physical examination, different diagnosis and possible diagnosis. And you have to start a very basic test, okay? Now jump into very expensive and high tech test at the beginning okay so that's that's uh, that's the idea okay try try to ask a question just in five minutes only okay you have a lot of pauses today so uh i think the class will pick up a lot of things and have it for you know follow the template and i have the urine infection um I did have, that didn't have a renal colic, so you, that unlikely, you know how painful renal colic, the pain is, it's severe, just only compared with childbirth, it's the same similar pain, I wouldn't sitting still for you to touch me, so I think it's probably kidney stone, probably not a diagnosis, and you've got a lot of things you haven't followed, where my general observation, while by the side, where cardiovascular respiratory tract, in fact, ejecting our abdominal palpation, Urine, urine analysis is a simple test, a very simple. You can tell you whether infection of blood in there, white cell in there, cast in there, or, you know, epithelial cell and nitri infection, a lot of things there. Simple test, simple test, simple test, okay. And all the cell, you know, CT scan for everything, probably CT scan. I don't do it for kidney stone, but anyway, I'll leave it at that now. So... So many things you, I think, about nervousness and make you not performing, you know, in satisfactory. So I'll probably go back to look. I know that it's about, not embarrassing. This is the way how we learn. Uh, I'm, it might be too you know, difficult, but again, just you've got to think what you're asking and what your template. You don't follow the template. That's the most annoying we get from students. Template. You don't follow the template. And then lastly, when you, you stuck in the case, whatever it will like, never tell the patient I have no idea. They'll have a high expectation of you. You're not gonna misleading the patient. I took a whole class here and I seen quite a few students get stuck in this way. I will ask my colleagues, my ask my consultant to help. I will ask and might look to see what, you know what I can do for you. And no such thing, I have no idea. A lot of people around you to can consult, can ask for them. So you just say, I will ask my college, my, my friend or my doctor or my, my professor for advice. It will help you from there at the way, okay? In long term, I would like to hear no one say, I have no idea, okay? That's the way. All right, so we will go to the next one. And I hope class to see, I want just stick to template you don't stick to template i'm going to be very very angry uh dr fu i, I make a suggestion that maybe dr luang may play the role of the patient so make the students calm down a bit and we watch them to do eh? i think it's much better because now the other one show up with you i don't think that they have uh, <laughs> enough courage to do something <laughs> Okay, all right. I leave her down to Luang and Min. Min probably, you know, it's just, well, Min just say, dead there. Okay, all right. Okay, go. Okay, next one. I invite the next one in. in, in, in. Yeah. 
Ok, the next one. Either who is a volunteer. Ok, uh, you are very lucky that uh, to see the patient, uh, Dr. Long as a patient. Ok, now, go ahead. <laughs> Good. Hi. Um, uh, Good morning, Miss. Uh, I'm, um, I'm a medical student. I'm here to help you today. Could I have your uh, information and, uh, and take your medical history and the same examination? Is it okay with you? Sure. Okay. Um, what's brought you here today? Yet today, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, I will, I will tell you about my case. Um, my case is a 28 years old female presenting with a uh, acute variable current pain. That's for one day, and uh, she has mild fever, nauseated, and vomiting. Yes, that's in my case. Uh, so we will move on. Okay. Uh, so please tell me what brought you here today. Um, I have some problem in my belly. Yesterday after I, I eating, I feel good. Later on, about one hour, I feel so painful in my belly. That's, um, I think about after that they go away. I don't take everything. I come to relax in sleep. Midnight, they go back again. That's the reason this morning I come in with your office. Uh, could I ask what kind of food you eat? Yeah, and, um, a little bit different. Yesterday, I, <coughs> I have some... Uh, um, Oh, yes, I get a yeah, whole bowl, this bowl full. Yeah, so it's your last meal. And um, uh, could you please tell me where exactly is the pain? Yeah, my pain, <coughs> some gum around in my belly, yes. Uh, uh, does this uh, move anywhere? Yeah, they they not focus somewhere, but an an up down my uh, belly, up there. In the right or the left? Yeah, more in the right side, but still in the up there. Yes. Um. So um, how do you feel about your pain? Is uh stop or done or? Uh, Something like this. Yes, sometimes they come and then go, but uh, a little bit in three level. Um, when when it come, uh, what do you feel about? Um, uh, is trembling or? Uh, yes, I feel I feel sometimes look like spa. After that, um, I come in, I vomiting, I feel better, but after the I vomiting, I go back, relax, I go back again, but they can again. I don't know what the problem, what going on, I am so much concerned about my health, okay? Oh, okay. Um, do you use any treatment? Uh, treatment for your pain to relieve your pain. Yeah, when I pain, uh, some my uh, family member give for me some medication. Uh, they buy from over counter. Uh, for stomach problem, I take it, but I feel a little bit uh, low and down. But after that, go back again. They say. Yeah. Uh, have you experienced uh, the similar pain before? Oh, um, 
a long time ago i come back home in vietnam i eat something i don't know i have the same problem but after that i take some medication they go on but uh, yesterday until now i feel like really for painful that's the reason why we may come in your office uh, like area or constipation? Um, no, I, I regular. Yes, regular. No, I don't have this problem. What do you uh, take? Do you have any fever? Oh, no fever. I feel normal, but um, before I come in with you, the nurse, uh, nurse just uh, my vital side, they see my temperature normal. Um, so I would, I would like to ask about your past medical history. Uh, do you have any GI tract or disease before? And no. I don't have a problem. You don't have, you are healthy? Yes. Are you, uh, do you use any drugs or uh, any medication on um, uh, regularly? No. Sometimes I just get some sleep and feel when I feel uh, stressful. Do you uh, allergy? No, I am not allergic. Um, is there any member in your family have those similar symptoms like you? No. Uh, we um, have, eat the same thing, food together, but yet I am get problem yesterday. Um. Uh, um, I would like to uh, perform examination to uh, yes. yes, sure. Um, um, I don't see. What you I want? Will, first, I will take a general look about your appearance uh, to see anything abnormal, um, like jaundice in your ear. Um, uh, then I would like to uh, take your uh, other side, like blood pressure, temperature, and pulse, and what we rate is normal. The nurse, um, the nurse uh, test anything before. Uh, you can look. If you like, you can take a again. I am uh, ready. Yeah. Um. I will. Uh, Check. Uh, I will take a look up your abdomen. Can you uh, check uh, your clothes? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I. You can. Um, you can take the exam. I will look for any abnormal thing in your belly, like the shape, the size, and uh, the color. And, uh, you say that uh, you said that you uh, feel painful in the right leg, so I will uh, examine this the uh, uh, real lat. Um. Uh, uh, is there any uh, other region you feel painful? Yeah. When your hand put in my in upper in the right side, I feel more painful there. Yeah. Um. So I, I would like to book, because, because your abdomen um is your anything abnormal in your abdomen? Um. Yeah. Um. You just. I'm so sorry. You just say you can touch or you can look. You don't say too much about medical term, okay? 
when we touch i feel the and for one side and other normal yeah um, um listen to your power sound Yes. Um, yeah. How you um, feel? Um, it's more um, a setting sound. Um, so I would like to uh, to give you some more uh, investigation. Um, Besides the common blood test, I will give you uh, uh, abdominal ultrasound to uh, find any abnormal in your body. Um, um, can I ask you question? What ultrasound do in my abdominal? The, the first time I heard, I don't know. Can you explain for to me? Yeah, the ultrasound found that uh, there is a thickening on leather's warm wood stones. You think about um, I have some stone in my um, golden go strong or something? You I, think? Excuse me, can, can you repeat? You you think about I have problem in my the bias blood or something? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Um. Yeah, I agree. Go to ultrasound. Um. But what net you want to help me? Uh, I see that you have a, a problem with your gallet here, so I will uh, uh, concern with my consultant to uh, give you a extra uh, treatment plan for you. You know what? <coughs> I feel I can how related with uh, my thought. Um, but you, you, when uh, you examination, I think more about I have problem about uh, um, by this or gone the mother or something. I need to know how you can solve my problem right now because I am so painful. Right? I come in your office. What your plan right now? Um, I would like to do some <coughs> medication. Oh, um, to, uh, because I think that you have a cholesterol status, so I will give you some more uh, antibiotics, and uh, we will wait for a uh, specific. Surgical treatment plan. Um, I feel not comfortable when you come for me about my big right away. Um, but um, I think about I need you um concern my with the uh, your doctor or some specialist. I can discuss more on this day. Um. Yeah, made my made me more comfortable. But thank you so much for you work with me today. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now, um, then, have you seen your performance? Um, very quick one, very short one. Have you seen? I forgot some, but I think that the time is limited, so I need to move on the next task quickly. Which one that the most important that you think that you missed? Um, 
because uh, the basin complained to me uh, to vomit. I uh, forgot to ask about uh, the uh, vomiting symptoms. And okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's be uh, let's let's move quickly. Okay, you uh, you still stay in I said a very primitive state. Just asking. You don't go fast enough to go to the examination. And then you list what you're thinking about possible causes. So you jump from asking to treatment without thinking any why you treat the patient with those stuff. Okay? And then you're looking for consultation because you didn't do the job well enough, so, so that's the reason. Yeah? So now, I just ask from the whole class, yeah? please go to with a question, half your interview, and then go ahead with physical examination and differential diagnosis. We would like to hear all of you today about differential diagnosis. It's because that's the second step. The first step is already done. A couple of times before, you do again, 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 and you still stay with that class, with that, uh, that stage, okay? What move ahead to fix the physical animation and, and diagnosis today? Oh, please, okay? Think about that. I give you the cue. Any symptom you have to thinking about the chief complaint when the patient show up with you. And from that chief complaint, you will thinking about possible diagnosis. Don't jump right away to the, 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 the diagnosis that you already have, but not. I think about other possibilities. Okay. And, uh, and uh, Dr. Min too. Huh? Uh, uh, Dr. Min. <laughs> be an angry man. Turn on, Miss Simon. Uh, Simon, uh, yeah. Speak. I couldn't hear you. Good. Hello. Hello. Hello, nghe được anh hả? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying a little bit late, but uh, still, I keep hearing the same mistake on over and over again after uh, Doctor Fu and after Din uh, keep uh, reminding you, but uh, still, uh, from the first one to uh, the, this uh, recent performance, um, this. Uh, a little bit uh, disheartening, but uh, okay, we still practice, so it's okay. Um, when you hear the chief complaint and you uh, get the very first few information, the location, the type, the pain, uh, you should start forming the, uh, some, have some idea about what can cause a problem. And just like Din said, have the um, the primary diagnosis, what you think most likely the case, the problems, and also the differential diagnosis. Uh, the old card or the Socrates, um, the, that template you use to have the good pictures, to have the uh, well collected information about the, the symptoms that the patient has. But don't forget, medicine is not that straightforward. A lot of other things that may have kind of similar picture. So think about other things that the patient may have and ask to rule out other symptoms, um, other conditions. So that's the differential diagnosis that you may you, you must have. 
uh, abdominal pain is sometimes it's quite complicated. So maybe the patient have peptic ulcer, but they have pain with the liver. They may have uh, pain with the appendix. They may have pain with the ovaries. It's a lot of things may cause the pain. Uh, then you may need to ask for that. Um, and for example, the case earlier, or uh, you have concern with possible renal stone. Okay, that's your primary diagnosis. But uh, you may ask for something to confirm that. For example, any blood and urine. Then yeah, if it's that blood and urine, then it's a good thing to know. But uh, if no blood and urine, you not run out yet. Um, you ask for something else that may cause the pain in the back. Uh, whether the patient like pick up something heavy and strain his back and cause the pain, it's good the muscles pain. So yeah, so try that. Um, think about the primary diagnosis, ask about that, but also think about differential diagnosis and ask about that too. And one more thing that uh, Dr. Fu mentioned earlier, that uh, you should have an idea what you are looking for. You cannot just ask because it's the, that's the question you need to ask. You uh, ask because you are looking for something. You can only find what you are looking for. If you just randomly ask questions because you need to ask those questions, then you won't, this won't get you anywhere. You just collect like a, a bunch of data, a bunch of information, but you don't formulate the case. Um, and let's see what else. Just like, yeah, just like you order blood test, you need to know what you order it, right? You not just order a blood test because it's a blood test you need to order. You need to look for something. The same, the symptom is patient, you think patient have um, uh, upper GI bleeding, for example, you think the patient have uh, liver cirrhosis. You look for um, the vessel, you look for ascites, yeah, you, you, you look for things that point towards us, towards us direction. So, yeah, um, don't be, don't be panic. Step back. You, the doctor, you think that could be the problems, and you, yeah, you're looking for that. Um, yeah, by that, by this time, template help you get the, the big, the, the good explanations. Um, of your conditions, but then don't forget something else could be the problem. At least come up with two or three different diagnoses uh, and ask about that too. Okay. Mm, can you hear me? Or oh, I'm just talking and not hear me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, I think that uh, we uh, have an hour and a half already, and just with three people. So we will make a we take a break now, just five minutes only, and you have to think about how you make a uh, how your performance, okay? Because right, try today the rest of the class, try today, go quickly with the interview, the question, and you say that like uh, Doctor Mindo say, huh? you go to the wood, you go to the forest. You have to pick up which one that you're looking for. You don't, you don't pick up everything there. Okay, so now you have to make sure that which question that more pertinent to the problem, to the chief complaint. Then go fast to physical examination that we supply, we will give you. And then what kind of test you think. And then possible, possible different shows diagnosis that you think that you rule now to the main diagnosis, okay? So in five minutes, try to think about that in your case already assigned to you and make sure that you perform pretty good, pretty well after that, okay? So five minutes rest, okay? And we mm -hmm. go back, thank you. Press and regroup, and we start again. Okay. <laughs> Difficult. Um, um, I think I'm still nervous. 
um, yeah. the, way I use, <laughs> the way I use the um, this new method to give them overview you know they present the question they need to ask uh, so prepare for today but somehow it wasn't there no linkage between the presentation that posted on Facebook and the question they're asking today so a little bit sort of I'm not sure how we make it work. Is it? The thing is, it's not easy. It's not easy. And, um... Yeah, I think that uh, a little bit uh, more than what they have been uh, practicing during the previous uh, earlier sections. So, um, yeah, and they may not be uh, familiar with uh, this format yet. I guess so. Uh, instead of we just focused on the history taking earlier, and now they have to go through, including physical exam, and uh, yeah, have some discussion about the plan. So they may be like distracted, and then uh, um, yeah. So I suggest maybe we uh, for the next few case, um, uh, let them focus on the um, asking history for the. Um, the diagnosis and the different short diagnosis, um, and maybe the last few cases um, we can, uh, we can focus on the, the examinations so that uh, yeah, we have time to, to go for. Uh, Could I have uh, some uh, suggestions? Uh -huh. Because um, yeah, I think that today students talk a lot of about the history. They still stuck because it, it's, normal. it's normal in the process of learning because now they have to come from one state to another one. Uh, so maybe because every students have assigned the topic today, like we can cut it short, like that we jump right away today, just on today, to the uh, they think about different so different show diagnosis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, because so we they uh, have to patient, yeah. Yeah, explain now. Okay, if the chief complain like that, I think blah blah blah. Bring something, and then they have to reasoning to do now. Okay, so make it short. Just they, they, they start they dropping in the medical history too long. Yeah, they, they should do quickly. Okay, because we already three class already, and they just stuck there. So now we have to move to. So I think that is is maybe cut short. Because I run away. We have three people. Yet I can meet at twelve people. I think I think next, next, next one of seven minutes and we cut with no no feedback. Get them moved all the along the class. At the end we move. Okay. Just otherwise we we, we too much time now. Just seven minutes, history and after the history, uh, they come up with something that's fine, but otherwise we cut there. But annoy, annoy. I'm just. I think my mistake because I, in the way, I help them with the final diagnosis. So they think that you know that's a diagnosis. So they focus on that one. So they forgot for different Just my good intention to help them to do the case easier. But uh, that problem now. Um, okay, we will go on do the next one and min min just check very quick. Try to lead them, uh, try to get a bit of information and feed information to them to get them through the case quickly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let me try to, to see okay. them, them pick it up. Uh, what, what, next actually, case, then? <laughs> what next case? What next case? I'm not sure if uh, you suggest any next case on I can do each uh, case. We have a list uh, of um, 12, uh, oh, sorry, 15 cases, huh? and we are okay. only on three, so we have 12, yes, because every student have this okay. specific case, so it's... Okay. okay, all right, go on, next one. Uh, can you unmute? Okay, tell, tell, us, tell us what case you're doing. Okay, so uh, my case is a 75 years old man, uh, of Algeria, uh, in Algeria, uh, in class. Uh, can you speak up a little bit, please? Can, can you, you close? Stay close to the microphone and stop move, moving your head and uh, we can... Okay. <laughs> so my case is a 75-year-old uh, man uh, with oliguria and uh, mm -hmm. 
the, the blood serum is uh, with a high creatinine and urea. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I can do. Uh, I'll do your case, um, but uh, we, um, let me just tell you a little bit uh, how we're gonna do it. You only have uh, seven minutes after after I finish, so uh, be focused. And uh, after the first two three uh, questions, you stop and you tell me what is the main thing you think the patient may have, and tell me at least two or three differential diagnosis. diagnosis. What are two or three other problems you think the patient may have? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Um, I'm uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Min, um, 75 years old. Okay. So uh, first, I will introduce myself and uh, 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 confirm yeah, just go the ahead. Just, just, yeah. Just go ahead. Uh, I'm I, I'm your patient in front of you. And, and confirm the patient um, information, um, the name and the date of birth, and uh, and then I will uh, uh, talk about the reason why I'm here uh, today, and uh, and then I will ask uh, what's uh, what's brought you in today. Um, yeah, I'm 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 feel uh, tired. Um, I feel like I'm not peeing well, and I feel sick. Okay. Can you help me, doctor? Okay, so uh, when did uh, when does your problem start? I'm not sure, doctor. My memory not so good, but uh, seem like I have problem with my urine for uh, for quite a while. But it's get worse at least uh, the last one week. The last one week. Uh, so uh, um, is this a sudden or um, is um gradual? Uh. I, yeah, as I say, I, I, I uh, have problem with urine for, for quite a while already for the last couple of years, but I just try to ignore it. But the last one week, in my I do struggle to, to, to pee. Okay, so um, the typical uh, peeing of uh, yours, um, does this um, uh, constant or is come and go? Uh, it's all the time for the last few years, doctor. It's not comes and go. Every time I go pee, it's difficult for me. Okay, so um, can you uh, can you tell me that um, what is the problem uh, problem with your um, when when you pee? Does it uh, difficult uh, when you pee? When you pee, or um, you you notice that um, the amount of your um, urine is um, low or something? Um, it's uh, difficult to get the urine now, doctor. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling I'm not feel completely empty in my bladder. Uh, sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. Uh, it's uh, I feel like I cannot empty my bladder. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, so let me stop here. Let me stop here. So uh, I'm the I'm an old man coming, feeling tired, and cannot pee. What you think could be the problems? And give me two different diagnoses. So, so the first thing uh, that comes to my mind is the. Uh, I cannot hear you. Um, Can you speak up a little bit? Yeah. So the first thing that comes to my mind is um the uh the pros the prostatic hypertrophy. Um, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and the second thing is uh, the something that uh, will um, cause the obstruction of your urinary tract or um, the stone or uh, um, uh, tumor or something. Yeah. Okay. That is okay. two things that I'm uh, thinking about right now. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. Just you, you, you pick up the symptom of obstruction, but uh, don't forget this is the old man, and he's had problem for a while. He's getting worse, and he feel tired. He feel sick. So something else going on at this time. Okay. So not um, just the, the obstructions. Something else maybe from uh, the obstructions. Okay. So. Uh, Maybe about the infection, um, because um, 
the, uh, is it, I, I haven't asked all the question, but uh, old men uh, tend to, uh, old people tend to, um, uh, their symptoms tend to like, not really clear, that uh, they feel tired, uh, they know fever. Maybe sometimes they infect uh, something, but they don't have fever. Um, okay. And, and uh, yeah, the infection somehow may uh, cause the symptom on their urinary tract. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you have few diagnosis, uh, differential diagnosis. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, you have a few more minutes to, to ask the history, how to identify the problem and uh, clear out, clarify the, the possible differential diagnosis. Okay, so um, and do you have um, do do you know that any change in your uh, your urine color? Uh, no, doctor, it's still the same. I think. Okay, uh, but uh, how about the, the amount of your urine? Uh, I told you it's just a little bit every time, and uh, I feel I cannot empty my bladder. Um, and do you have any other uh, um, ha um, problem uh, go along with this situation? Like, um, uh, uh, like pain or fever or nausea or something? Uh, no fever, doctor, but uh, the, my bladder semi is a bit yeah, full and a bit irritated. Uh, uh, no fever, uh, a bit nauseated, uh, and quite tired lately. Yeah. Uh, so, have you? Um, so, uh, can you tell me about your past medical history? Do you uh, have any um, disease uh, related to your pee before? Yeah, I have this problem for a few years, doctor, and uh, uh, my uh, family doctor told me that I have the, a big prostate. I'm, I'm still taking medicine for that, doctor. Yeah. Um, how about other disease like uh, um, high blood pressure or um, obesity? Um, I do have high blood pressure, but uh, my doctor said that it's not too bad. Uh, it's kind of control. Obese, okay, so do you any, think I'm obese, doctor? So any medication uh, that you take for your um, condition? Yeah I, yeah, I took medicine for the prostate, uh, like I told you, and uh, I, made, I want medicine for uh, the, the, the blood pressure. What is it? Uh, and it's you... called something uh, Losartan, I think, or Valsartan, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you, about your, um, okay, so I will ask about uh, the uh, smoking, uh, alcohol consumption, and, uh, um, okay, sorry, time's up. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. If you have one few more questions, would you ask anything to help clarify all the condition you were thinking about? Yeah, think about your diagnosis, differential diagnosis you were talking about. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking about the, uh, uh, the chronic inflammation of uh, bladder and uh, and uh, maybe the 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 prostate uh, hypertrophy will be the uh, the risk factor for infection. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the process. I, okay. So um, can I offer some test uh, and uh, uh, examination? Um. Physical yeah. examination. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, first is uh, the inspection. Um, uh, I will look for the uh, lower abdominal um, sign, but I think that uh, but I think that is not <laughs> give much information. Um, and uh, about the uh, 
uh, oscillation, I will listen to the sound of uh, the renal artery and uh, the bowel cells. Um, the next thing is about um, palpation. Um, do you have any like, like when, uh, do you feel any pain when I pump uh, the uh, lower um, abdom abdomen? What are you looking for at that, that area? Um, when, when I touch it, does it pain? Does it painful? Yeah, it's, it's a bit uncomfortable, but uh, what were you looking for, doctor? Is, is, is you looking for something um, uh, so I guess um, if if there is a inflammation, then it will cause uh, the pain. Um, okay. I also check uh, your um, so so I I would check um, the rectal examination for checking the size of your prostate. Okay, uh, it's okay. huge. Um, okay. Um, and then uh, I will move to the uh, the, the blood the blood test, um, which have a high creatinine and urea, like mentioned, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, the urine uh, the urine test. Um, and and the ultrasound, yeah. Why you take the you why you check for creatine and urea, doctor? Why why you think what you think? Why you check that, doctor? Uh, okay, just um, just in just in case that um, there's some infection, I uh, will um, uh, infect upward um from from the outside up to your kidney and cause um uh the uh, nephritis um, to cause a acute renal failure something. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we, we stop here, we save time for other people. Uh, how do you think uh, about your performance? You think you doing good or something you think you're still missing or you think you got the right diagnosis? Um, okay, actually, um, right now, in in my mind, it's still baby. My main diagnosis is about um, uh, the bladder in, inflammation and the obstruction, <laughs> and I think that I, I I I have a little bit confused about <laughs> what I've been asking for because uh, it's actually um, not not give much information for the diagnosis. Um, uh, and it's over here, Dr. Fu gives you some hint about a renal failure, but uh, of course the patient coming in won't, won't, ask, won't tell you that he have a renal failure. Uh, he has uh, the prostate for, uh, problem for a long time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the signs and symptoms show about the uh, uh, urine obstructions and uh, think about yeah the complication of the of the uh, obstructions that may cause and the most obvious not the most common thing is the infections and uh, if uh, a prolonged urine obstructions is the, the renal failure it's good to the problem. Uh, you also did ask about uh, the medications. That's a good, good thing to ask. And I told you that I use uh, a, a group of medication, losartan, and that group of medications may also cause a problem uh, for the kidney also. So uh, yeah, think about those. Uh, think about those things. Um, prostate, uh, uh, BPH, prostate enlargement. Um, this guy, this gentleman, have it for a long time, so it's nothing new to him. But he's not coming to you because of that. He have it for years already. So something else happened recently that changed that make him come to the hospital. Okay, so don't get hung on to the prostate enlargement alone. Something else is going on on him. He's old. You pick out the writing that he's old. The symptom may be vague, not not very clear, not very. Typical, 
but then it's in real life it's even uh, more more difficult for you to to identify the problems the patient the patient, you know, the patient. he may have infection you you're right he may have infections he may have a lot of things going on that uh, you may may need to, to, to find out so us we need to ask about other things also okay yes yeah, so actually I, I i miss i'm missing something i i miss uh, checking your viral size I yeah, miss uh, checking about your mon monitor your urine uh, um what mm -hmm. your, your urine volume. Okay, yeah. exactly. Okay, and uh, you check my uh, low abdomen. You should feel for the bladder. How big the bladder? Yes, yeah, tell you that uh, my bladder. I feel that I cannot empty my bladder completely. So check for the the, yeah. the big bladder. Check for the big bladder. So yeah, not check yeah. for the inflammation yeah. of, of the bladder. Okay, check for the, 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 the bladder over there. Okay. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Um, that uh, very, very uh, small thing. We don't cover a lot of things yet, but uh, think into that line, think about the thing you have in mind and think about other things could be the problem also and ask for that. And uh, again, um, you may be right, you may be wrong. Uh, no, no, thing per, no one perfect to get the, the diagnosis <laughs> right away. So that's why we have the differential diagnosis to back us up in case the, the, what we think initially turn out not the thing the patient has. So yeah, if the, if the first thing you check out is not the, not the diagnosis you think, then you move on to the next thing to, to find out. Okay. All right, we need uh, time for other. So uh, hopefully other of your friends listened and uh, yeah, think about uh, what we are practicing so far over here. Uh, and uh, Dr. Lin, Dr. Fu, any feedback for the performance just now? Unmute, and, uh, unmute uh, uh, I think we move on to the next case. I pick up the next case and then and I'm going to be quicker. Yeah. Okay, who oh. oh, will we're with me? Okay. Thank you. So you just um, just tell me. Yes. Uh, my case is about 40 years old man. <laughs> Who came to the hospital because of his patients and uh, weight loss. Mm -hmm. He had a story of severe smoking. Okay, now, okay, we we like to make it short today. Yeah? So I would like to guide you a little bit because we have to do very short one. So you have um, three main key here dysphagia, weight loss, yeah. and heavy smoking. Yes. So, based on these three keys, you think what is the possible diagnosis? Okay, go, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, hello. Yes. Do that. Oh. Yes. Uh, in this case, the first diagnosis, I think that the patient can uh, get esophageal um, sensors uh, and uh, some differential diagnosis e e esophagitis and uh, sometimes I think that this is uh, 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 this is some, re uh, some problem related to esoph esophageal uh, gastro reflux disease or some disease related to his uh, gastro his gastric Okay, so you give us three different show diagnoses. Eh? First yes. one, you think is maybe esophagitis. That's correct. And then the, the first esophageal cancer. Okay, it's a tumor. The second yeah. one is a inflammation. It's an esophageal uh, phagitis. Uh, that's correct. And the third one is a reflux. Beside that, do you think anything yeah. related to that area? 
um, I think, uh, some time related to uh, some uh, something related to um, and uh, very stolic stuff is so fragile. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now go ahead. Okay, very quick one. Go ahead. How you rule now? Those uh, differential diagnosis to come to the the possible one. Yes. So first one, I think we should conduct uh, esophageal endoscopy, and if we see the if, yeah. if we see the, the tumors in the esophageal lumen, we will um, do uh, biopsy and uh, cytologic screening to get exactly a message for patient. So why you don't start first with the physical examination? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, about physical examination, I think that uh, we should examine his uh, nose, mouth, throat to make sure that there are no smart tumor or inflammation in this area because sometimes inflammation or mass in uh, mouth in uh, throat and his nose can affect on swallowing. Um, and uh, I think that uh, I should check lymph not in the neck and in the lower jaw. Yes. And uh, some um, to the uh, lung uh, examination, I think we should check trachea, uh, bronchial, and uh, lung epithelium, lung epithelium. Yes, mm, something, sometimes um, we, um, if the patient has uh, left age or have a trophy, uh, he, he can get job or what swallowing because the uh, uh, big uh, left edge can affect on swallowing. Yes, and uh, to uh, the examination of uh, stomach, uh, we uh, so make sure that there are no tumor in the epigastric area, especially in the upper stomach, because sometimes if a patient has a uh, tumor in the carrier of stomach, he can get trouble, get difficult to swallow. Okay, so before you carry out about the uh, endoscopy, do you think any other simple test before you do that? Yes, uh, before I uh, do endoscopy, yeah, I think we should uh, take plus step to um, uh, to know about the. Uh, it, it, Patient is um, go ahead. Um, uh, in my recent in my video, I uh, think about um, uh, first I will want uh, to uh, esophageal endoscopy and uh, check this right. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm, uh, if I see the term tumor in esophageal lumen, I will do uh, mm, a biopsy. Yes. How do you think about the smoking and, and what else? Mm. Uh, and the most weight related to your diagnosis yes about uh, weight loss I will uh, have things if a patient with cancer he can look he can lose weight roughly and uh, something uh, and in uh, some other body I think that uh, if the patient gets to with what will he can scare up eating food and uh, a reason of um, uh, this, the patient can lose weight. Good. 
Now, okay, to do quick, just when you summary to the patient, what you what do you say uh, before you make a conclusion with a patient? Okay, what you have to present, what you thinking, and what's the possible um, diagnosis, possible test. So how you how you say about that before you you let the patient. Uh, make an experiment on the other test. What did you say? Um, I think that in this case, um, I will um, I will tell the patient. I, I will tell the patient. Don't be worried about his disease. Because before I held the uh, step up, um, so I started the screening. Um, I think that now we can we can show that the tumor is malignant or not. So, um, um, uh, uh, so I I would advise the patient um, to, uh, not to be nervous. Or not to be nervous so much. If it turns to the cancer, and the patient will blame you, so how how can you do? If the reason is cancer, um, I I think that in this case, um, I will explain for the patient that. Um, I will explain for the patient that he get disease, but I think it, I think that it's so difficult. This call um, uh, explaining to the patient um, uh, about his tensions uh, is some is something very difficult. But um, I will give um, the patient some information about treatment about new therapies on uh, treatment of sensors. Okay, here, okay, uh, we may stop here. You, you make a mistake again. Okay, don't, don't say that, don't worry, okay, again. Just say that we think about something and we're just looking for the final uh, diagnosis. So in the, at the same time, maybe you have to carry out something, something. Huh? Don't say sorry, uh, don't, don't say that, don't worry. It's not good at all. We repeated, repeated so many times. And Dr. Fu already repeated many times. And you still make the last mistake. Okay? Okay. Now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, T. Okay. Okay. Go ahead with the other one. Okay. Uh, Dr. Fu, any, any idea? Chắc để move on thì Okay, now next one. You like me to be the patient again? <laughs> oh, I just asked, actually, I guess Amelia. I think probably a second to be okay. Min, Min, you want to be patient? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I'm, when I'm patient, I'll probably become too difficult patient then. Um, okay, so who's next? And uh, what is your case? Okay. So Tao, uh, just present your case. Uh, speak louder, Tao. Speak louder. Nineteen-year-old medical student, present with several epigastric uh, pain and. No sleep for last seven day, seven day during trade exam. This is about nine no sleep. That's it. Also. Uh -oh. Okay. So the key uh, the key words here is that AP gastric pain, nauseous for seven days during yeah. test exam. Yeah. That's yeah. a case. Yeah. Three 
Um, do you want me to take this case and then, or do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. It's up. It's up to you, Ben. Uh, okay. I can. Uh, I can do that. It's okay too. Okay. Mm hmm. So I, I, I think that I don't be your patient, but I just ask you have to make it short of the hand. So when you have the patient show up with AP gastric pain, what do you think about the possible diagnosis? Um, and uh, a, a different diagnosis, it may be uh, to, a torment and also uh, Excuse me, could you speak again louder? Stomach ulcer. Okay, so stomach ulcer in medical term, what did we say? Gastric ulcer. Uh, okay, then when, when will the next one? Uh, I said not to diagnose. You should. Because if you don't say... What you mean? I okay. don't understand okay. what you mean. Okay, now. Okay. I let you think. When you have the chief complaint, you should think the possible causes. So the first one you think about is gastric ulcer. So now, what is the next one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one? No, 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 no. Okay, because that's something, you know. No, that's why. Okay, now, I, I give you the cue, the cue, eh? When you have the patient with AP, uh, AP gastric uh, pain, you think about gastric ulcer, that's the correct one. If you think about the reflux, or no, you think about the esophagus hernia, or no, or you think about pancreatitis, or no? Or you think about something related to biliary or liver, or no? That's it. So you see, it's many, many possible cases, many causes here. Okay, don't think so simple, okay? So now, I give you three, okay. Give you three possible diagnoses. And you have me to rule now which one, okay? Don't jump right away to your case. That is, uh, what is it? Uh, here uh, is a peptic ulcer. Okay. Don't think, just one thing, okay? So you have the gastric ulcer, peptic ulcer, esophageal hernia, and then macrotitis. So how you think, how you rule now that one? Me, I am not at the patient when this is or anything affected the band, like uh, our habits, our moment, uh, and uh, anything like any symptom, like uh, the patient had like a uh, pain in upper abdomen. Uh, And um, if I want to uh, diagnose it, sadly, I uh, make sure that I, uh, I have the examination uh, located with the band, sadly. And so if uh, you search one band in epigastric band and, uh, and anything like uh, detention, 
in uh, the in uh, the patient uh, abdomen, and but I I can uh, I don't measure exactly diagnosis, so I'm I must take some test like uh new uh, new uh, abdomen abdominal nutrient sound and uh, special like uh, uh, upper GI uh, upper GI um, upper GI and drug copies. Okay. Again, you jump right away to the <clears throat> to the test. No. Let, could you ask me some question that you could rule out those diagnoses that I get you? Have you asked me? Uh, I, uh, I asked you about uh, what, where, where it is, where the band is. Yeah. And, uh, you must, yeah. and you must uh, localize the band one point, one, yeah, just one point. Mm -hmm. And then I get it, I, uh, I want to know where the is are. Uh, it's happening right now or suddenly. And after that, I want to know uh, any uh, trigger like uh, makes it uh, worse or better. So, so if you have it, this pain, and I want to you a uh, kill or it uh, through uh, uh, euro some wrong pain in kill that I must certainly know. Okay. And then I ask you about your any uh, because in my case a uh, uh, woman, so I must know any uh, uh, mental period is not is normal or not, and uh, about power movement and uh, neural neural symptom, yeah. That I want to know exactly the tone, color, or anything else like dialogue. Okay. Yeah. And then when <clears throat> when we carry when you carry out the physical examination, what sign what signs are you looking for? What kind of uh, examination that you're looking for? Uh, uh, examination. Uh, I check. Uh, for 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 way first a uh, uh, in, in pension that I see uh, I looked the abdomen and after I uh, had a um, you no know, uh, tension that uh, the power sound is normal and anything like anything sound like different and then I have a fusion uh, the Abdomen and after I take a uh, hand patient that uh, uh, that the band make you feel when I uh, touch it or I go deeper and uh, I don't know any uh, side to uh, correct with this band. I don't have the word. Uh, yeah. When you do the pan patient, what are you looking for? Uh, I just ask the patient, uh, uh, and I see, uh, uh, I see uh, your face when I uh, touch your abdomen. If 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 there are any tension on it, and uh, you tell me, if I look in your face. Is that correct? With your pain, is painful or not? Mm -hmm. So beside yeah. the pain, what what you look what you looking for? Beside the pain, when you touch the uh, the abdomen of the patient, beside the pain, yeah. what else are you looking for? I I I don't know what you don't know. <laughs> yes. You have to looking for the mass. That's it, and you have to looking for something you know, okay, tenderness or something. What the mass because. You about any epigastric pain, always you have to explore any mass there. That's very important. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, after you do the examination, what kind of 
most simple test that you 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 carry out. Sorry, say again louder. Uh, and the coffee. Any, sorry. Oops. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have to uh, to check it the first year user saw, and the second year the upper and the copy. Okay. Yeah, I almost saw uh, the upper CI and the copy. Mm -hmm. You do very expensive psych uh, examination. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you, um, Dr. Luang. Okay, that's okay. Tie up now. Okay, Dr. Luang and Dr. Min, any uh, any uh, feedback? Um, yeah, I think not not right now. I didn't maybe uh, keep moving on yes. because um, yeah, it's just it's just maybe it's uh, right now for for. For her, uh, maybe just yeah, build up the fluency and the confidence first. I think that uh, that's the first step for her this time. Okay, thank you, Thao. Okay, you can go back. Okay, and the next one. Okay, yeah, thank you. Who else? Yeah, who else? Who's next? <laughs> okay, call you. Um, now, uh, 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 my oh, yeah. Sorry, okay, I just assigned the, the patient for you first. Okay, Dr. Fu, uh, Dr. Min, Dr. Luang, and he, and he will be uh, his patient. Okay, Dr. Fu. No, Koi, uh, just explain, uh, just present, present your case. Okay, uh, my case is about a woman, 32 years old, presented with dysphoria, um, urinary frequencies, pain, uh, right renal pain and uh, fever. Her diagnosis is pyelonephritis. Okay. Uh, um, hello. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm the patient, and you're the doctor. You can ask me a question. You can fill a minute and be precise. And first of all, you have to formulate what your differential diagnosis and aiming from those, you know, differential diagnosis and asking the question. Okay, um, my uh, differential diagnosis I have in my mind is um, first pyelonephritis in um, that's, yeah, in uh, infection in kidney and next the um, uh, bladder in infection of bladder and uh, thirdly is um, uh, urinary tract um, ob obstruction by a stone. Okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Asking my question precisely and quick. Okay. Um. To um. Uh. Rule out the different or uh different or diagnosis. First, I have to ask the patient about the pain location. If um we have a uh, um infection in the kidney, the pain is located in um. On the flank, in the flank, the, the renal ankle, first, and the plaster, that would be the, the lower belly. Yes. And um, about the, um, the stone, about the obstruction by stone, I think that I would add about the, um, the characteristic of pain. If a stone exists, the pain will be um, um, sudden and 
very painful. If uh, the pain comes by an inflammation, so it would be uh, feel like um, dumb and gradually and not so severe. Yes. Okay, you, mm. you can ask me a question. I'm, I'm the patient now. You ask me a question. You, you know that I presented with this problem for last, uh, what? Two, two days with right renal angle pain, re frequency, urea fever. You yeah, ask me a question. Wait. Okay. I'm, the, I'm your patient in front of you. Uh, what's the problem here? You hear today? Yeah, I got the your last two days, I become unwell. I have to go to the toilet a lot. And I feel I like got right side and more than back pain, quite severe pain in the back here. Yes, and when it occurs and how long it's lasting? Uh, two days ago and it's still ongoing. Okay, so it keeps stay and not go, right? Uh, it constant pain. It's not going, coming and going. Okay. Uh, and uh, except the pain, is there something uneasy uh, coming with your pain? Um, yes. Yeah. And then what would you like to ask me? Mm -hmm. um, there is some uneasiness coming with your renal pain, with your renal ankle pain, um, like fever. Uh, ah, you asked to talk about fever. Yes, I do have fever. Um, a fever, yes. Uh, what about your urinary passing? Is it easy yeah. or not? Uh, it's very burning. I have a lot of burning when I pass urine and have to go to the toilet a lot, many times. Many times? Yes. Yep. Uh, how many times? I have to go at least seven to eight times a day. Times a day. Okay. And um, you you said that you feel burning, and um, the, the passing your ring increased the last two days, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I, yeah, I have said that. Yeah. Hmm. So anything yeah, um, else you want to ask me you talk about me uneasiness? Something else you want to ask me about it? Uneasiness? They ask fever, something else? Yeah. Yes, um uh, the next like um have you ever experienced a, a similar before? A similar yeah, I have, yeah, for the last two years I had three episodes of you know the bladder infection. Bladder infection, yes. Yeah. Mm. And uh, when next, I was, when, I, when I was a child, I have many, many episodes of kid uh, blood infection too. So, okay, I, I get it. Mm. The the pain location in the past in the local uh, the blood infection is the same. In, uh, this time. Yeah, uh, no, no, this time I get more on the, my the back, right up the back, you know, on the right side, on my flank. Okay. Uh, now I will um, uh, take some uh, physical examination on you. Is what? it okay? okay? Okay. What would you like to know? Uh, first, I had to check your um, vital side, especially your um, your temperature. You I feel said, fever? Uh, yeah, temperature is 37.8 degrees Celsius. All the vital signs are normal. Okay. Now, um, uh, when, I, when I pass pay in your um, right renal ankle, you feel pain? Yes, yes, very a lot of pain, very a lot of tenderness there. Okay. What about when I talk in your lower belly? Uh, right. I've got pain. Yeah. Yeah, I've got pain right middle, near, near, you know, in, uh, in lower my, uh, my abdomen. It is pain there. Uh, it's painful too? Yes, it's painful, yeah. 
Okay, I see. Um, mm. um, recent days, uh, have you uh, exposed with some um, something um, not hygienic in uh, in your urinary tract? Mm. I'm very clean freak, doctor. A very clean person. And um, uh, do you have the uh, chronic disease like diabetes, like um, high blood pressure? I think I'm more healthier than you, doctor. Okay, I see. Uh, so I next I will come to my diagnosis. So, mm -hmm. uh, about your um, the information you gave me, my potential diagnosis is uh urinary tract infection but i don't uh, sure that is location so i have to offer you some medical tests to confirm my yeah, diagnosis sure, sure. yes yeah, sure doctor go ahead quickly and um, i gotta go back to my family now uh, your blood sample and your urine, your urine sample to um to have to uh, check up Complete blood count um, uh, analysis of urine and um, urine um, cultures. And next, you have to have some uh, imaging tests like um, you just saw in your renal and bladder and um, uh, better ureter and um, uh, kidney x ray frame to make me uh, see that if there are some stones in your urinary tract. You, so, you mm. said for urine analysis, what do you want to find? What do you want to know? Urine analysis, what do you want to know? What, what, in the, what the result of the test, what you wanted, what you're looking for? I want to know that um, is there um, stone in uh, this tract? No, it's not urine analysis. It won't give you a stone. So what else you want to look in that urine analysis? The deep sticks. Oh uh, yes, uh, that I will find the um, the existence of bacteria to uh, demonstrate a uh, infection. How do you know the bacteria in there? Um, I will um uh, initially uh, I will um. Um, uh, observe your urine sample in um, microscope scopy. No, no, and you do next, the dipstick, you do dipstick, you do dipstick, you yeah. understand dipstick, right? You analyze it, yeah, what you looking for? I could see um, if uh, there uh, is uh, increasing in um, um, leukocyte um, nitrous. Yes. This can eliminate the um, mm -hmm. condition up. Right. And um, okay, and next the um, urine cultures to um, detect uh, exactly what kind, which kind of bacteria. Mm -hmm. Is okay. is the quite enough to give a, a diagnosis? Okay, all right. Okay, good. All done. Okay. Um, I think it's a probably it's a very simple case, and your examination was incomplete. Um, I told you they got a past three, three when I was a child. I have many multiple episodes of urinary tract infection. It must be something, just, you know, like anatomical, you know, problem with my, my, with my kidneys. You didn't go in detail for that. I offer information. I have, in, I have UTI for last, you know, few episodes for last three you know, few years. You didn't ask it. You asked, didn't ask my past medical history. You didn't ask my medication taking. And no social history, no family history. So something you're skipping far too fast, and you're just pointing too much guy.
take up with your habit, the way you practice daily in you know, your routine, but you will, will not get you go any far. You, know, you see 100 patients a day, I agree, but in this course, please take up those habits. Go straight in, template, go through, take time, learn to walk before you run. You've been, we've been teaching you know, something in the unconventional way too long. But anyway, you come up with, I think your analysis, you have to look for many things. You, you go home back, everyone go home back, look at what your analysis will offer you. Belirubin, a lot of things in there, a lot of things can give you information about your, just simple tests, very simple tests can give you so much. And also, uh, you mystery, you right, you can look, not only looking at leukocyte, you're looking for cars. You know, whether, you know, you determine where the infection coming from, from the kidney or bladder, and looking why cell cow, red cell, a lot of things, just are simple things. So that's many things, important things, outer cell, by kidney stone, but, you know, not, not all kidney stone will show up on x-ray on outer cell, so not resolution. All right, next case, I think next person, we go next one. Okay, you go, who, who come up with next one? Okay, all done, all done. Next one. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello, what's your case? Yeah. My case is a seven, um, 70 year old lady um, in a nursing home. She presenting um, because of this urea incontinence and fever. What in um, your mind? What in your mind? What the problem with this patient? What your difference? Uh, Give me three, three causes. She has UTI. Okay. Uh, she has UTI. Mm -hmm. Give me three, three causes. Vaginal, um, vaginitis, vaginitis, mm. mm -hmm. and okay. um, uh, uh, gastrointestinal infection. Okay, right. Okay, I'm the patient. You, the doctor. Now, skip all the introduction. You go straight to ask me what brought me here today. I came to see you because I, I live in a nursing home. I have three day history of dysuria, painful when I pass urine and become incontinent. I had incontinence in the past, it's getting worse. And I have the fever for the last three days. You are, that's where that brought you, me to see you. You have, now go ahead, ask me the question and formulate your thoughts and investigation. Uh, okay, uh, so first, talk about your um, burning sensation. Uh, when did it start? When did it start? Uh, just three days ago. Um, okay, um, three days ago. So can you, um, when it start, it is sudden or gradual? I just, yeah, I've been, I woke up with a pain. I'm not sure when the pain started, but I woke up with a pain. Okay, uh, can you uh, uh, describe uh, the pain, um, the exact pain? Just pain where my, you know, my, my, uh, you know, my lower tummy, where my underwear is. Um, does it run anywhere uh, it, it mainly just stay where, just in general, my lower abdominal. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's come and go. Uh, the pain no stay there most of the time. Most of the time, constant. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, your incontinence. Uh, I'm, you, uh, I'm, 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 you keep breaking up with your voice. Can you move microphone closer to you? Because I we keep. You're not losing the sound. Um, talk about your incontinence. Uh, can mm -hmm. you hear clearly? Yeah, um, I can hear you very clear now. Thank you. Uh, uh, talk about your 
by your incontinent of uh, and it is start uh, I have incontinent for a lot 10 years I've been uh, but I put up with it uh, so uh, when it happened uh, That's about when, 10 years ago uh, so uh, I mean you when you do uh, exercise or have some uh, cough, sneezing, or... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, mainly, yeah, mainly when I cough, I sneeze, or jump up. I, I don't do much exercise now, but when I cough, sneeze, and licking. Uh, so this day it is worse. Uh, is that uh, you have to urge or frequency? Yeah, I'm from, I have to go to the toilet more often now. I go to the toilet about eight, nine times a day. And also at night time, I have to wake up a few times to go to the toilet. Okay. Uh, so, um, have you uh, any uh, symptoms? Do you I'm have sorry. any? Wait a second, I can hear you. Do you have any symptoms? Uh, what mean, are there any symptoms? I'm not sure why all medical students keep asking me or oh, any symptom. What? What? I'm. I'm sorry, doctor. I'm just a lay person. I don't know what symptom are. Can you tell me more? Uh, anything disturb you, bothering you? Oh, many things. All things. All people around me. People in nursing home annoying me. Uh, so, um, are you a fever or nausea and vomiting? Oh yes, now you I'm glad you asked me the right question. Um I had a fever for the last few days and I feel very unwell and I feel every time I taste a food I want to vomit, but I, I haven't vomited vomited. Uh, and about fever? Yeah, I have fever for the last few days. I feel you know hot and cold, hot and cold. Okay, so what uh, did you uh, I think the one in the nurse in nursing home took the temperature. She said my temperature was thirty seven eight, and but uh, for the last few days it hasn't gone up, but still the low grade there. Okay, okay. So uh, have you experienced before? Have you uh, experienced this before? Uh, no, no, no. This is first last three days. I'm just really active in nursing home. I'm not sure why my children put me in nursing home. That okay. Uh, so, uh, about your urine, um, what is amount of um, each time? Uh, I have to go to the toilet a lot. I'm, you know, like, I feel the one to go to the toilet, but every time I go to the toilet, not much coming out. But I have to go at least 10 times a day. I feel every time, okay. even when I go to the toilet, I feel the one to go again. Okay, so uh, what is the corner? Is it in uh, the corner or smell? Uh, I think that your microphone is some problem. I can't, I keep breaking up. I can't hear clearly. Um, say again, move closer to the microphone, please. Uh, any change in the color and smell? Uh, again, I'm, I'm breaking up. I can't hear you. Uh, can you hear? Yeah, can I can hear. hear. If, you, if you stay close to the microphone and like, I can hear you. Uh, any change in the smell or color? Uh, the color urine very dark, very dark, very dark color, more yellowish but dark. Okay, uh, so I would like to ask you some uh, question about your overall health. Um, is that okay with you? Uh, sure, sure, yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have uh, any uh, unexplained weight loss? Say again, say again, something uh, got echo. Unexplained uh, explain weight loss. Uh, no, no, I'm putting on weight. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm, uh, no, I put more weight on now. Uh, Since my children okay. put me close uh, to home. Uh, so, uh, have you um, fatigue uh, or... Um, yeah, you, I'm very, uh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the last three days, I'm very tired, very tired. I'm, uh, I'm just barely have, want to get out of bed. Okay. Have you uh, fallen for the past six months? No, no, no. I'm very active. Yeah, I'm lucky. I haven't fell down. You know, I haven't fractured my hip yet. Uh, 
excuse me, I would like to interview you. You just go around, around. Why you don't go straight? Okay? Just go around. So much. Just repeat again. <laughs> Okay, keep going, keep going. So ask more. You need to ask me more questions. You know that I got blood infection. Go straight in. You ask my, you know, you know, you got picture. Have you know how many go to the toilet today? Nocturia. You have to ask whether I have a diabetes. And come on, go on. You pass my past medical history. Mm. So a have, medical history, yeah. So have you had any diabetes? Yeah, I'm diabetic. I'm taking medication tablet three times a day. I have diabetic for the last 10 years. Uh, okay, uh, so have you had hypertension? Yeah, I do have a blood pressure. I've been taking medication. Uh, and uh, I have any uh, uh, vaginal irritation or um, discharge? No, no, I don't. I'm just, I guess I'm old and still get, you know, a bit dryness, but no, no infection. Um, uh, so, uh, any uncontrolled your uh, uncontrolled your um, bowel? Uh, you know, old people are having constipation day, but it's not too bad. Uh, and uh, do you smoke? I uh, know I don't smoke. I don't drink. Okay. Um. So, um, I want to ask. Uh. So it is. Um, I uh, I think I uh, I can uh, I can think about your circumstances. Uh, maybe you have um, a urinary tract infection. Um, but for me to uh, um, to firmly diagnose, I need to uh, uh, do ah. some examination. Okay. Okay. What examination you like to do now, doctor? Ah, thầy con quên. No, 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 just go, make examination, go on, move on, move on, examination. Um, have you, uh, uh, have you had any uh, renal uh, kidney disease or stone? No, 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 um, no, no. Uh, have you or any uh, member of your family had uh, a kidney disease? No, no, they, um, I'm adopted, so I don't know who my parents are. Have you had any cancer or uh, irradiation? No, no, I have no, no. I'm, I'm very, quite active, so I don't have any, you know, surgery in the past. Uh, okay, uh, so I will uh, sum it up and uh, please correct me if anything goes wrong. Yes, um, a lot of things go wrong. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, <laughs> yes. Do I need to sum sum up the uh, summarize? No, no. I think I think put, go on the examination now. Go on. Okay, so I uh, take the uh, examination. Uh, first, uh, I will uh, uh, perform uh, perform the examination. Um, uh, first, I will uh, uh, check um, your. First, I will observe uh, you are um, alert and uh, conscious. Um, you are uh, sitting. Uh, you are sitting um, uh, in comfort with a uh, normal, um, normal breathing. Uh, then I will take uh, the vital size, um, blood pressure, uh, temperature, um, pulse, and um, pulse. The blood pressure. Blood pressure is one hundred forty over eighty. A uh, pulse is. 85 per minute, respiratory rate is 16, and the blood pressure, uh, the temperature was 37, 38.5. She looked flushed, but she obeys, she comfortable on the, on, on the, on the chair. Um, okay, so um, I will uh, uh, look uh, around you. There is no uh, di dialysis machine, uh, no uh, oxygen containers. Um, no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not that sick, doctor, yeah, I'm not that sick, no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm your room now, it's nothing, no, no machine next to me, okay. So, I, uh, first, I will uh, check, uh, uh, I will uh, check your neck, uh, there is uh, both sides, there is no lymph nodes, uh, and uh, uh, then I will uh, check your skin, 
uh, there is no uh, proper rush. Um, uh, and then I will uh, uh, examine your lung and your heart. There is no, there is no more. Uh, and yeah, then yeah, I will... Yeah, all good. Yeah, all good. All, all normal. Examination skin good. Um, how, uh, the cardiovascular respiratory examination was normal. And then I will uh, examine your abdom abdomen. Uh, first, I will uh, observe uh, there is no dilated um, vein, uh, there is no masses, um, and uh, then I then will. Uh, yeah, and what no, it's normal, auscultation, bowel cells, normal. What else you want to know on the abdominal examination? Uh, and then I will uh, palpate uh, nine areas. Uh, I will, uh, uh, before I will uh, percussion the supra pubic um, area. Uh, there is uh, no shifting. No, 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 there is tenderness, no shifting donuts, no anxiety. Your examination night part of my abdomen, it take nearly half an hour was normal, but my supra pubic with tenderness. But no mass. Okay, uh, and uh, I will uh, um, take the um, uh, costal uh, vertebral angle tenderness. And, it's uh, there is no, no pain, no pain, no more. Okay. Uh, so based on this, uh, based on this thing, I I think it is uh, uh, you are have urinary tract infection. Um, the exact uh, place is a uh, platter. Later. Yeah, um, okay. I, I need to uh, do some uh, laboratory findings to... Okay, um, okay yeah, go ahead, doctor. Mm. Yes, uh, first I need to uh, uh, do some blood tests uh, and then mm. uh, urine dialysis. Um, uh, analysis, you think, or dialysis? You said dialysis or not, an, an, analysis? And, Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Uh, my kidney is still working, doctor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I will uh, uh, take your uh, midstream uh, urine to uh, uh, to do the urine counter uh, mm -hmm. and uh, detecting the bacteria mm -hmm. uh, and the sensi sensitive sensitivity. Sensitivity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and I will uh, uh, I need you to uh, um, do uh, ultrasound renal ultrasound uh, to find any stone uh, or any yeah. any abnormalities. I don't have money to pay for ultrasound, doctor. Uh, what about my incontinence? Uh, uh, your incontinence. Uh, I think yeah. uh, your um, your bowel weakness, your floor bowel weakness uh, of mm -hmm. your age, um, and uh, it can uh, empty and it is re retention. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you have many risk factors such as uh, menopause. Um, uh, oh, and you are in so I'm going to I'm going to live with it. Uh, so you have a uh, you urinary tract infection. So. Uh, this is cause uh, your symptoms. Yeah, but 10 years ago, I have incontinent for 10 years now. So I'm too old to get, get fixed. Uh, uh, I think uh, that is uh, neurology. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, done. Okay, case. Um, Incontinent is you talk, you do ask the right question about stress incontinent, but you need to establish. You have to do vagina examination to see any prolapse, any sister seal, rectal seal, and you need to demonstrate whether she has a stress incontinent. We're asking her to cough and to strain to see whether any leak in urine, and you test from it and check your vagina. You know examination to see any dryness. It can cause you know irritation. So that's a part you need to do, but don't put, you know, they, if we can fix incontinent, it's not hard to do. I will talk leave it later on. So, okay, um, 
uh, probably good in a way good, but you bit you know Doctor 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 in Van a little bit upset about you know you go in one direction and circ circum you know circumnavigation around the same question and take too long. But in general, good. You know, it's it's not a hard case, but be concentrate in all. You know, the geriatric patients, seventy five. There's a lot of seventy. A lot of things wrong with them. You know, you look at general blood pressure, diabetes. Many things can happen around these times. So you look at more in term of more general. You know, global picture than just concentrate on on diabetes. You can fix, you can advise about her blood pressure, 140 but 90, it's too bit high for her or something. You ask, make sure they take medication regularly, see the doctor regularly, see diabetic, make sure they well control diabetic. With diabetic, that's why she's gone to the toilet every night, not sure she got three, four times, she couldn't sleep. And the later time, she might fall. At night time, they know lies, she might fall, she fracture the ribs or the hips and she died. Anyway, that's good. So I think we nearly one fifty one now. So we will not, uh, can we move on quickly for the next one? And we move quick, quick, few time, and we get through, make sure everyone have a chance to talk. Thank you. Next. Hello, Dr. Paul. My name is okay, go on. What your case? Uh, my case, um, a 59 years old man with, presented with um, one day of uh, fever, abdominal pain, and uh, diarrhea. Okay, right. I so got it. Yeah, okay. He went um, to, you know, for the farm to eat, you know, the chicken. He got um, diarrhea and... And she got abdominal pain, and she got a lot of he he had gone to the toilet multiple times, and but he has no other complaints. So okay, um, what in your mind? Um, first of all, I think um, he um, it, uh, have have a high risk of um, acute infectious uh, diarrhea. Right. So uh, I uh, order. Um, student culture to uh, identify. No, 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 no. Go back. Asking. I'm the patient. Asking me a question. Come on. Skip all introduction. I I come to see you because I just come back from holiday in you know in the farm. I ate chicken and I be, and also I've been you know have a lot of pain. I go to toilet a lot. Asking me a question. Why I'm here. That's what I'm see you now. Come on, go on. We've got five minutes history. Uh, hi, Mr. My name is Dave. Um, okay, I'll skip that part and go straight in. Ask him, okay. What's what you here today? Yeah, I have, you know, I just told you I came back from the farm. I ate chicken. I become unwell. I have, you know, uh, tummy pain. I go on toilet multiple times today. I'm not well. When did it start? I don't know. I went to the farm about three days ago. Was the onset suddenly or regularly? Yeah, just uh, one hour after, you know, the, 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 the chicken farm owner feed me with chicken and I become very unwell. Um, is it a cramping or death pain? A uh, very cramped start with, you know, very cramped, like really unbelievable cramping. Does the pain radiate to anywhere else? Uh, usually in my tummy, but also going through my back. Uh, does anything make it worse or better? Oh, when I move, my body is hurt. Um, uh, when I vomit, it just hurt more. But um, yeah, when I go to the toilet, I feel a bit better. Um. How many times? How many times did you uh, go to the toilet? Um, at least about ten times today. Diarrhea, just very loose. Uh, did you have uh, loose or watery? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, very watery, doctor. Uh, what color are your skin? Uh, more yellowish color. Uh, yellow. 
do you notice any uh, blood or mucus on your uh, yeah, lo- yeah, I think a lot of mucus, but I couldn't see any blood there. I just came to the toilet to tie, almost pass out in the toilet. Are you uh, using uh, laxative? No, 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 no. Just my, I want to stop. I can't use laxative at the moment. I want to stop. I'm just going to toilet too many times. I'm crazy. Is there any uh, thing associated with uh, diarrhea, like uh, fever, um, nausea, or uh, vomiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have fever for the last few days, and I'm quite high. In some states, it's gone up to 38.9, and I, you know, I'm constantly nauseous and been vomiting a few times. Did you uh, measure the temperature? Yeah, yeah, I did. I told you, the 38.9. Do you feel thirsty? Yeah, yeah, I feel thirsty, uh, but I can't drink. Every time I drink in, I feel, I want to feel vomit. I have to go to vomit again. Um, have you uh, experienced this symptom before? No, no, this is the first time. I think, you know, I'm generally healthy. Have you had uh, any change in your diet? No, 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 nothing. I'm very fit. You look, you look at me, you know, before. I'm very fit. No? Uh, any member in your family has the same problem? Yeah, yeah. My, my children who, you know, came, you know, visit and farm with me, they all both sick at home at the moment. Same problem. Uh, have you or uh, anyone in your family... Um, Travel recently? No, yeah, that's that my children, my two daughters. When with me, they're both sick, like me. Are you allergic to any foods or no, 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 I don't. I don't take medication. I have no allergies. Could I ask you uh, how you recently used uh, any medication, especially uh, antibiotic? No, 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 I don't. I hate medicine. Um, did you have any surgery related to your optimism? No, 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 I've never been sick. Um, did you have any disease? Uh, no. Like, uh, no. About, your, about your family, um, is there anyone in your family had um, cancer? Um, no, 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 um, nothing. They all, they all healthy. Thanks God, they all healthy. Um, I don't smoke. I don't drink. After asking, I want to um, um, do. Um, I want to perform a physical examination. Yes, go ahead, doctor. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, at first, I will. Uh, after, um, if uh, you have any um, any dehydration, um, I will um, um, check your side about um, your blood pressure, um, measure the temperature, um, respiratory uh, rate. Okay, in general, you look very, he looked very sick, he looked very dehydrated, he got heat mucous membrane, it, you know, very dry, and he's, you know, and um, his blood pressure is only 95 over 50, and his pulse rate is 110 per minute, and, and the temperature 38.9, and he breathed quite fast. Respite rate about 25. Um, next, I will um, perform the perform the abdominal examination. Mm-hmm. What do you want? To, what do you? What do you want? What did you? What do you like to know? Um, I will uh, uh, look uh, your abdominal. 
abdomen to uh, see uh, if there are any uh, local localized uh, swelling or uh, distension. Um, I just general, generalize, generalize distension, but no localized distension. General abdomen yeah. slightly distended. Um, and I will uh, you a step to uh, listen your moral sounds. Bell sounds very active. Okay. Um, I need to uh, prepare your appointment uh, to uh, determine uh, which part of your abdomen uh, feel uh, tender when uh, I talk. Generalized tender, tenderness everywhere. And if, I, uh, if, they, if there are any uh, mass? Or no, no mass, no mass, no, no lump, no lump. Stop using tumor, lump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so after examination, I uh, ordered some um, lab tests. What test? To yeah, test, yeah. What do you want to look what you want because to find in the practice? I um, need to draw uh, some uh, blood sample to do a blood test. Mm -hmm. What um, you want to know? Yeah. What the result you like to know? To uh, notice uh, the uh, white blood cell, uh, is it uh, abnormal high or not? White cell count is very high, 25,000, with marked increasing lymphocytes. Um, another test is um, ab abdominal abdominal ultrasound to uh, um, find uh, yeah a lot of bowel gas a lot of bowel dilated no mass liver normal pancreas normal gallbladder normal yeah I want to um, uh, do the chemi the chemistry uh, test. What what test is it? About uh, electrolytes and. Um, okay, it's a very dehydrate and potassium five point seven, which is quite high, and sodium is high hundred fifty is high, and creatinine gone up high. Lift function yeah. test show ASD, ALT rise, and bilirubin is normal. Because uh, you um, look like um, dehydration, I uh, also order um, uh, urinalysis to... Um, urinalysis, so large ketones, no white cell count, no red blood cell. Just very last ketones. Okay, uh, so um, after uh, have a um, lab test, I am um, going to move to uh, discuss about uh, treatment plan. Okay, our uh, treatment plan. What your what your most immediate treatment at the moment? What you want to do? Because, Immediate. because you you um, dehydrate, so uh, I um, recommend IV blood uh, to mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, after that uh, I give you. Um, And okay, okay. And we will stop, we stop the case here. Um, I think you're missing a few things. Is it, you know that you can keep food poisoning of bacteria. Very high temperature, 38 night. If you're high, he his pulse very fast. Temperature plummeting. And uh, the, uh, the, the blood pressure 95 over 50 for the young man. The man is very low. And you need to you know, have rehydrate them. And also you need to collect the stool for cultures. You know, looking for side infection. You also need to do the blood culture, looking for side infection, treatment with antibiotic. 
Okay, so I think a case you do a history, okay, and something you know learning from have to be more specific, but a good thing. Okay, go need to go next one to go to the next patient. Next, next, next one. Come up. Okay, all done. Okay. You can go back. I think probably we'll do a few more, two, three more, and we stop. Huh? Uh, Dr. Fu, we, we have six people left. Oh, and no. Yeah, yeah. We are on three hours. So we may, uh, okay. Yeah, so we have to cut off uh, some anyway. Okay. Uh, your case? My case is about a seven years old boy presented with a history of acute onset in right iliac fossa associated low fever and vomiting. Okay, um, I'm, I'm the father of the young child, boy. Um, I brought my child to come to see you. I'm worried because he got a right leg for some pain and got a low grade fever and he's been vomiting. You can ask me questions straight now. Don't go. Uh, skip the part introduction. Yeah. Um, so you brought your... Um, you, you brought yeah, yeah. your... Um, yeah, I brought my son here. What question you want to ask me about my son? Yeah. So where is um, what brought your try to uh, planet today? I already spoke to you, told you that I brought my child because he got pain in your tummy and also got low grade fever and have been vomiting. Yeah. So I have to ask about the pain. So where is the exact pain? Can you yeah, the pain in the lower part on the right side. Yeah. And uh, is it, uh, does it move around? No, just just starting, you know, where, as you know, where around the umbilic umbilicus, around the tummy, around here, and gradually he complained more on the right side now, the lower part, the abdomen. Yeah. And uh, what what is what, what is the pain feel like? I see he's he been crying with pain. Yeah. And uh, is there anything can have relieving your dry pain? Um, I, give, I give him paracetamol. It doesn't help. He's still crying. Yeah. And uh, when, when you try work or cough, is it? Pardon? Say again. Say again. Uh, I mean, I mean, not. I mean, is, is, is your dry pain worse when he walk or cough? No, he's just been lying in bed. He's too much pain. He doesn't want to move. Yeah. He's crying. Is there, any, uh, is there anything else? Or I heard about uh, dry having low fever. So yeah, what, he, is, what is the temperature? Temperature was 37.8. Yeah. Can medication help? No. Uh, I give her some paracetamol. It helps a bit, bring down a bit, and also give her a sponge bath. Switch to How about a vomiting? Yeah, he's been what? vomiting about five times a day. What uh, What you try for up? I just more start with some food and then become more yellowish and now a bit more greenish color. I want to ask about your try bowel movements. No, he went to the toilet five times today. He's loose, very loose. Very loose. Is there any mucus or blood? No, no. Uh, did, did you try have any medical disease before? No, he's very healthy, very active boy, blind stalker, no problem. Apart yeah, from bruising and, and nothing. No, so it's been no surgery before? No, no, it's very healthy. How about your family disease? No, no, everyone health, ha happy, everyone healthy. Is your try allergic with anything? No, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I don't know. No, no, I don't know about it. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Um, 
Now I will, uh, I will perform some semi physical examination on your tribe. Okay, what would you like to know? Yeah, the first I will uh, get general condition of your tribe. What would you like to know? Yeah, about the uh, infection uh, syndrome side. Such as? Check the, the lip, the tongue, and the breath. Maybe it, Infectious syndrome can uh, can can tell me with this uh, checking, yeah. And we will check vital size. Right. Vital mm -hmm. yeah. size thirty eight. Um, blood pressure. A normal power is about ninety. He breathing normally, but he not moving. He is afraid of pain when he move. Yeah. Uh, then I will assemble all the organs, but especially concentrating on uh, abdomen. Yeah. What would you like to know? I, I will look uh, if um, you to find the tension of your abdomen. Is it more slightly distended? Yes, more slightly generalized distended. Yeah. Yep. Then I will hear about the cells. The bowel cell is active. Uh, for four to five Epsom uh, cells. Yeah. Uh, we will do some uh, progress and uh, preparation on your tribe of German. If, if you try to feel, feel, feel pain, Please tell him to tell me uh, when he's sure, been, sure. when I talk. Sure, sure, yeah, okay, sure, okay. Yeah. Uh, I so progress. Do you want to know your patient? I progress to they know, find... They know the exciting. Yeah, I progress to grab the air of the... Yeah? No, no exciting, no mess. Mass on palpation on the right upper quadrant uh, is very painful, and he wouldn't let you to touch it. All right, when you take your finger off from palpation, yeah, it's mean um, it be very uh, painful in your abdomen. So uh, maybe I will have, I will have some uh, some lab test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. The front, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I will. I will, I will, I will do. Uh, full. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will. Uh, I will see the white blood count. If there is uh, more than uh, ten. Uh, ten thousand per millimeter. Okay, white cell count fifteen thousand high. Yeah, it's, it's um neutrophil. Neutrophil is um, more is equal or more than seventy five percent. It's high, neutrophil high, neutrophil. And the next, I will uh, next um. Uh, on the south, we make uh, abdominal on the south. What to you find, like to know? To find if, if there the appendix swelling or some smart inside. Okay, can, you do the uh, outer south scan show the uh, appendix core wall is more than six millimeter with edematous change. So what's wrong, my daughter? Am I wrong? Am my son now, doctor? Hello? Yeah. With, what's wrong with, what's wrong with, with my son? Uh, left that I think first uh, I think the most is appendix status. Mm -hmm. And he's going to die? Yeah. He, he's going to die. Is you okay with my, my, yeah. my son now, doctor? What are you going to do? Um, when uh, 
uh, it depends the type of uh, and, and the duration of the appendicitis uh, because uh, this can uh, help in the uh, easier but almost uh, appendicitis to avoid it structure and have more complications when it's ruptured. So we need a certain degree. Okay. Okay. Um I leave okay, I leave it there. Okay, good thing. Um the other thing would everyone who owns a child or pediatric case, you make sure their vaccination is up to date. Okay. Um okay. Uh, good. All right. Um I don't think we, we got much time to talk, but um in a case, probably you do quite well uh, talking questions. You have to tell me specifically what you want to ask for. Okay, all right, next uh, thing. Thank you. Can, can, you, can we move to the next one, please? Okay, hello? Yes. My Kate. My case is about 35 years old man uh, presented with abdominal pain, change power habit, and uh, have effers mouth answer. Okay. Uh, uh, where? Okay. All right. Um, just skip. Skip everything. I'm. I'm the 35 year old man coming to see you in your office, in your surgery, where abdominal pain, changing bowel habit, and got some mouth ulcers. It's been ongoing some time. Okay, ask a question, quick. No yes. introduction. Okay, so uh, could you tell me uh, where is the pain? The pain is all over my tummy. Okay, and uh, how long does the pain last? Uh, the pain has been ongoing for the last two weeks. It's much time in there. Oh, yes. And uh, could you please describe more about the pain? How does it like? Uh, very dull aching. Sometimes it's just like come and go. And most of the time it's there. It's just like sometimes I feel like stepping pain in my tummy. Someone stepped a knife in there. Oh, yes. And uh, could you, uh, do you take any... Um, Pill medication to relieve the pain? Uh, I take a paracetamol, I take I took codeine, it helped a bit, but you know, it lasts a few hours only. Okay, I see. And uh, is there anything else come with the pain, such as a uh, fever or vomiting? Uh, no, there's no fever, but I feel vomit, but uh, nauseous, but I'm not, vom I haven't been vomited at all. Yes. And um, what about the uh, the the uh, power uh, changing about power habit? Uh, yeah. No, no, normally I go to the toilet every day, but the you know, last in you know, the last two weeks I have to go to the toilet five six times a day. Oh yes, uh, I see. And um, uh, anything else that uh. It, uh in the past, uh, sorry, I asked about the past uh, history. Uh, do you have any uh, disease before? Yeah, I do have this before, and uh, you know, I've been have to be in hospital hospital a few times too, well, for similar problem. Okay, I see. And uh, your families are at a the member have a similar. Uh, I got my, 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 my father has the same problem like me. Yeah, he'd been in the house, in the house hospital a few times. He had the part of his bowel cut off. Yes, I see. So you have, uh, the father had the same. And uh, after um, asking uh, some of the questions, I will uh, go into uh, do some physical examination on you, is that okay? Yeah, sure, sure, go ahead then. Okay, first thing I want to uh, check for the vital size, uh, if there's normal or not. Uh, vital size, normal, and uh, apart from a bit grinding, a bit with pain, but the old vital size, normal, he looks normal, he not, okay. you know, he, he not overweight, 
and he doesn't okay. look you know there's no dehydration yes and um about uh, i will uh, check for the 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 uh the mouth the neck or uh, the the head uh, is there any uh, problem uh, i got a ulcer a couple of ulcer in the mouth um with you know quite deep and he has it for we have it you know he has a quite long time a bit come oh, yeah. yes i see and next is about the cardiovascular Uh, it's all oh, normal. It's quite healthy. Yeah, respiratory uh, system normal. Yeah, normal. Yeah. And then, uh, to the uh, abdomen, uh, when I um, when I check uh, the uh, your abdomen, is there? Do you do you feel any pain when I touch your belly? Yeah, yeah. Tenderness or generalized tenderness all all over abdomen. Okay, I see. And um. Uh, about, uh, I, w- I will check uh, some of the other system and uh, on on things are normal too. What do you mean? I don't normal. How do you know it's normal? Uh, the uh, other system, for example, the mental, the the eyes, uh, and, and uh, the other system. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. It's all normal. Okay. So what yes. what's in your mind? What's the problem at the moment? What uh, do you I like think, to uh, Yes, I think uh, you are um, having some uh, irritable irritable uh, powering syndrome because you are changing your power habit and um, maybe um, the uh, other uh, disease uh, is about the ulcerative. Uh, Colitis, inflammation of your colon, uh, and uh, maybe uh, the next one is F. Is that the other three uh, diagnoses? I think you are. Okay. Uh, what what investigation you like to do? Uh, the the uh, investigation. Okay. I want uh, to do uh, some uh, blood test. To find out if you are having um, some uh, inflammation. I Blood see test to check. H- yes, yeah, see reactive protein is high. ESR is high, and the white cell count is normal, but he's slightly anemic, and his iron study show is low iron. Okay, so your. Uh, Blood sample show the result of uh, a slight anemia, and uh, then I will uh, do some um, uh, endo uh, gastroscopic or co- colonoscopic. Okay, all right. To uh, uh-huh. find out on your columns. Okay. Okay, you you know that you you think it okay. All right, you want to colonoscopy to make you know to confirm your diagnosis. What about the yeah. stool stool culture? Stool culture. Mm. Okay, uh, I stool think inflammation. Um, yes, I think I will do uh, do do more uh, the, the stool cultures. Mm. And, uh, uh, any um, material, your stone or any. Uh, Problem on your stone. Okay, all right. I will start the case here. Um, the main thing is important is you missed the point when he has this problem multiple admission to hospital. If you can ask Ooh. ask what investigation they have done and what did they find, what the treatment okay. he received, then you know that that the, the diagnosis is there for you already. You missed that point, and you have to do everything from the beginning. So if she said, I've been to the hospital, had the biopsy, colonoscopy, confirmed I have the Crohn disease. Even you haven't okay. seen many Crohn disease, but he, he told you, I said, ulcerated colitis. And probably you get, you know, this is second presentation. It's easy for you. So that's, you know, he, she missed it. And uh, everyone who mentioned, you know, do some simple tests, stool culture, not only looking back to you, looking at cytology, you know, any, you know, abnormal cell, you can, we do this, you know, a cold study, looking for cancer there. 
So probably good, you done the case, okay? A very short time, so probably okay. So good. All right. Uh, Naman, you go back. We we'll get pick up next one. Minh uh, Chi Loan, yes. can you do the can you do the quick one next one for me? I got to answer the phone. Uh, Minh, uh, thank you. Hi Chi Loan. Okay, I can do it. Okay, who's next? And please tell me the case. Hello. Who will be my right. patient? Okay, great. How are you doing? I'm I'm your patient. So tell me about your case you want to present. Uh, could you speak louder, Dr. Munch? Yeah, tell me the case you you are going to present. Uh, my case is a uh, 42 years old. A uh, male present with a uh, uh, blood um, uh, vomiting of uh, blood, uh, and he has a history of um, gastric ulcer. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Go ahead. Ask questions. Um, pay attention to uh, what we discuss about. Um, have one man diagnosis in your head and. Uh, have uh, at least two, three different short diagnoses and uh, ask about, um, yeah, ask about that to, to find out. So you have, um, yeah, five minutes for the, the question. Well, Go ahead. So we I have to uh, bring patient? Yeah, you ask patients. I'm your patient. Ask a question. Uh, so, uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Um, I'm Dr. Tran, and so I'll be your doctor today. And so, uh, what tell me what's brought you here today? Um, doctor, I've been um, vomiting out uh, some blood for the last two days, and um, I feel pretty tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, so, uh, could you remember when did it start? Um, two, three days ago. Um, not quite sure. I've been not feeling well for quite a while, but uh, I guess I may feel better. But the last two days, um, I vomit and I noticed some blood when I vomit. Uh, yes. Uh, it starts uh, suddenly or gradually? So. It's, I think we, I've been tired for the last few months already. I think I may lose some weight, but the last two days I vomit out blood. So that scare me. That's why I'm here. So it, it means it's, uh, it happened suddenly? Yeah, for the last two days. Uh, to, uh, is is uh, happened uh, before or after you uh, have uh, milk? Uh, so after milk, um, yeah, but sometimes throughout the day, I kind of feel not well either. But uh, yeah, after I eat, it seems like it's worse. Yes. Uh, so, uh, how many times did uh, you uh, vomit of blood? Uh, after meal, most of the time, and a few more times uh, throughout the day. So, five, six times a day, I. So, and are, are there so and any other symptom like uh, belly pain or a fever you you have? Um, no fevers, belly pain, kind of vague, uh, not 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 severe pain, but uh, it's nauseating. I feel nauseous all the time. Um, what color is the blood you vomit? Uh, is there a red or brown color? Um, Sometimes a bit red, some, but most of the time it's a bit dark. Um, yeah. So sometimes red, sometimes a bit dark. 
So, um, uh, do you use any medication to uh, relieve it? Um, not for this one, and since I know things help, but I I've been taking some medicine for for my stomach for a long time. I have stomach ulcer for a long time. So, uh, mm, anything uh, makes uh, you feel better? Not really, doctor. No things seem to work. I don't feel like eating at all. And I, I seem think like I've been losing weight so far. And uh, could I ask you about the uh, history of uh, your history of uh, illness? So, uh, uh, do you have uh, any sickness before? Uh, besides the stomach, I don't feel I have any sickness before. Um, yeah, just the stomach. Uh, I'm not seeing doctors very often anyway, so I just buy over-the-counter medicine for the stomach and just, just that. So, uh, or, or drink beer? Um, say that again, please. Uh, do you smoke? Uh, do you smoke a uh, cigarette or drink alcohol, please? Oh, uh, yeah. In in my work, we um, yeah, I work at in the construction, so I drink and smoke. Uh, yeah, a pack, a pack or two a day uh, smoking and uh, I drink with my co-worker every day. So, yeah, it's, it's every day. Uh, so, how long, you, how long did you have your stomach problem? For several years, doctor. Uh, yeah, I've been taking it on and off for the last like five or ten uh, years. I don't even remember. So, uh, um, do you know your the medication you, you you use for treat for treating the top stomach uh, problem? Uh, it's for the acid, doctor. Uh, I just go to the pharmacy, ask the, the pharmacist for some uh, something for, for acid, I guess, for stomach pain, and then, yeah, they just give me something over the counter. It's been helping on and off. Uh, it's been helping me, but uh, seems like getting worse lately. Uh, so, um, tell me uh, what. Uh, tell me your favorite. Kind of taste. Uh, what do you mean, favorite kind of taste? What do you mean by that, doctor? Uh, do you do you like uh, to uh, have uh, the spicy uh, or sour oh. food? Oh, I like spicy food, but uh, yeah, uh, sometimes it hurts my stomach, so I take some medicine for that. Uh, yeah, but I love spicy food. Yes. Uh, uh, how about hot? Uh, hot. Oh yeah, hot and spicy. I love them all. Uh, yeah, but I know I, I I always prepare to take some medicines after eating those meals, and sometimes eat yeah. that. But you know, I don't feel like eating that much uh, recently. So. Uh, uh, can I ask your about your family? Uh, is there any family? Uh, is there any people in your family have a similar problem? I feel like everybody has a stomach problem, doc. And uh, yeah, everybody take medicine for the stomach. Seem like yeah, everybody has stomach problem. Yes, uh, I see that. So, 
and you say and you you lose uh, your weight and so uh, could, uh, how many uh, weights you uh, you lose uh, for, for past uh, six months uh, about, about about yeah five kilogram doctor or oh, maybe yes more. Uh, are there any change in your appetite uh, I yeah, I'm not feel like eating that much lately. So yeah, I'm, my appetite is getting worse lately. Uh, and uh, 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 any change in your bowel habit? Not really, doctor. Um, sometimes I notice the stool a bit dark, but uh, yeah, not not nothing much. I don't think much change in the in the diet. Uh, and the bowel movement. Uh, did you uh, experience any, any uh, constipation? Uh, no, doctor, no. Okay. Uh, so, could, uh, could I have to, uh, have, I have to uh, summarize the case? Of Okay, yeah, so I don't think we have a lot of time for uh, further on. So, um, yeah, uh, tell me what you think about the case and uh, what the differential diagnosis you, can, you, you have in your mind right now. So, uh, my likely uh, diagnosis uh, and uh, recurrent uh, gastric ulcer. And um, because the patient has the History, long history of uh, gastric ulcer, and uh, he has um, he has the history of uh, eating uh, spicy foods, um, drinking alcohol, and okay. Uh, and anything else you think could be the problems? Tell me to uh, more differential. The other problem may be. Uh, um, Esophageal uh, radical rupture, but uh, I think it rarely. It, and uh, the other one is um, the esophageal uh, cancer or gastric cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you think about uh, uh, viruses, uh, this question you think uh, may help you. Uh, tell viruses from all the problem. Uh, sorry, the doctor, I can hear that. Yeah, yeah. If you think the patient have viruses, um, which question you you think you may ask or um, any question you think uh, may help you clarify viruses bleeding with the uh, the bleeding the patient have. Uh. Okay, so it seems like you don't know the difference between uh, bleeding from viruses. Okay, um, yeah, if patients have viruses and uh, have upper GI bleeding, uh, the vomiting will be really, really profuse, um, very bad. You may need to go to the hospital for that. Um, yeah, you may need to ask about the amount of, of, uh, of blood the patient vomit. Okay, Sorry. and uh, if you think about gastric cancer, anything that... Uh, yeah, you think you may uh, ask to to help, like point you to other directions, or uh, anything you already asked that may make you think more about gastric cancer compared to uh, ulcer. So. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, of course, at this stage, we have uh, just differential in mind. Uh, but this patient, he have like long history of gastric ulcer or gas, uh, gastric problems. So, yeah, he had the risk over there. Um, now getting worse with bleeding, with weight loss. He had a history of, um, of uh, yeah, smoking, drinking a lot. Um, so it's a high risk factor. So um, yeah, but uh, the weight loss, the vomiting, the uh, the uh, poor appetite, um, 
that also one thing you might need to, to consider. So, um, yes. yeah, so if you can, if you have that in mind, uh, you may, um, you may, uh, yeah, so yeah, tell me um, something you, you may suggest the patient to do or how, how you tell the patient so that he's, he's, he's not seeing doctor so far, he just go over the counter to get medication. So how would you uh, convince or, or tell the patient to, to uh, make sure he follows up with the, with the treatment, with the suggestion you, you're going to have? Uh -huh. uh, so uh, in, in the case of um, gastric cancer, I, uh, I, could, I can tell the patient that uh, this uh, very severe problem and uh, you have to uh, strict to my uh, to my treatment if uh, and don't give up the treatment if not uh, you will die soon okay um yeah um it's good to, to uh, make sure the patient understand what you are concerning um at this stage you don't know yet but uh, yeah and don't try not to scare the patient but Hopefully, you uh, let the patient know that you're concerned for his health. You let them know that the importance of uh, his conditions. Uh, some people, they just yeah, don't think that it's significant enough and just go away and they come back very, uh, very uh, late stage. So you can see that yeah, there's a lot of things, uh, a few things that I'm concerned. Uh, However, I'm not. Um, there's also the chance of uh, something serious going on, so uh, I have certain tests for you, and make sure that uh, yeah, you you have those tests done, so that we can uh, rule out uh, yeah the uh, the CV one including cancer. Yeah. So yeah, we don't have a lot of time for this. So um, yeah, think about this process. Make sure you have in mind what you think could be the, the problem. Also, make have in mind the differential, so that you can yeah you can uh, ask the question related to the the, the main diagnosis you have in mind, and also yes. something other, so that you can help uh, rule in or rule out uh, other conditions the patient may have. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I think we uh, we got to three more. Uh, to do um, two doctors and one medical uh, one student. I think uh, I look at the line very tired. Everyone look very tired, and you know the class been nearly four out too long. So can we do the last medical student? And we all we want to do the 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 um, you know the uh, high notes and with Doctor T at the end. <laughs> so uh, I might I think I might get to give medical student a chance, and I think we skip the last two, um, and uh, we probably call off the meeting today. What do you think about? Okay. Um, um, uh, next one, next medical student, the last one, come up here and do quickly, and everyone look very tired now. So go on, do it. Uh, You'll be lucky last, and will we, you know, and tell us what case. Uh, I'm doing the case for you, so to quickly and go. Uh, uh, this is a uh, 50 years old alcoholic man presented with uh, a kill of blood vomiting and uh, ascites. Okay, um, okay, I'm the patient, you're the doctor, and I come to see you. I, what brought me here to see you today? You're like you said, you know, got acute. I've been vomiting blood and anxiety. Please take history and give. give what? What initially? What in your mind? What the problem with me? Mm, I think uh, you have the uh, gastroesophageal very sick, and uh, maybe uh, an other diagnosis a uh, bleeding in your gastrol. So, uh, GI tract. Yeah. And, uh, okay, all right, okay. So now formulate your question, quickly ask the question and go through. Yes. Uh, when uh, about the uh, blood vomiting, when did it start? Uh, just only to uh, yesterday. Yesterday. And uh, do you know the amount of blood? 
Uh, initially, a little bit. Um, and the last, before I came to see you, I vomited at least, I think at least about 30 mils of blood in my vomit. And uh, uh, is it uh, do you take any medication to stop it or it is self-limited? No, it's just been vomiting for a few times. I, I'm really scared, so that's why I come to see you. I haven't take any, taken any, any medicine, doctor. Uh, do you know the color of blood? Is it uh, dark? Uh, very, very, bright? very bright red. Very bright red. Bright red. And uh, is there anything come with blood? Uh, like uh, uh, sputum? Initially, or? initially mixing with the food. I will, you know, I have been taking, but for last year today, after yesterday, I haven't been eating anything because, you know, I'm so, so sick. So mainly it's uh, more like a bit of mucus with the blood in it. And uh, did you uh, vomit or cough a lot recently? No, 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 I haven't been coughing at all. I've just been only last two days, you know, the, when the vomit, yesterday, you when the vomit started. And uh, do you have do are you do you have fever or pain? I have a lot of pain, but I don't have any fever, especially along my chest, along my your know, digestive system, and where uh, you're here, right here, yeah. Mm. And uh, does it happen after you vomit or before? I did start it, the pain came first. And I vomited, and the pain would stay there constantly until now. It's still painful. And uh, it's, uh, doesn't, uh, uh, it's still uh, painful now? Yes, yes it is pain. painful. Yeah, very painful. I, feel, I just constantly feel sick in my tummy. Yeah. And uh, on the scale? Uh, probably about 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10. Okay, and uh, I will ask about your ascites and uh, when did it start? Um, I noticed my tummy being, you know, swelling up, um, getting my chin getting tight uh, for last, say, at least about eight or nine months. And uh, beside your belly, is there any uh, part of your body swollen? Uh, I think my legs swollen, especially I work in the factory, I, I stand all day and at the end of the day my legs swollen quite a bit. I thought it's normal because I've been standing all day. Yeah, and uh, after that does it uh, uh, relieve or uh, it's still swollen now? Uh, it's still swollen but when I go home I put my feet up, it's swelling gone down a bit but it's still, you know, I wear my shoe a bit tight. I mean, you know, I have to change my shoe size. And uh, do you, did you do anything to uh, make it better? No, I don't. I'm just busy at work, too busy. You know, my boss is a difficult man. Yes. And uh, is there any position make it worse? Um, when I'm standing up. Standing. And when you lie, uh, lie down on your bed, uh, do you uh, have, uh, feel uncomfortable? Yeah, my tummy is really quite full. I just really have to turn in one side in order to relieve the pain. And uh, is there any symptom come with the uh, belly distension like softness of breath? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm running out. I'm, yeah, I'm running out of breath quite easy these days. Oh, you know, I walk uphill. I have to stop. You normally I can run uphill, but I have to stop in the halfway to take my breath before I can walk again. Okay. And uh, do you do you have uh, indigestion? Uh, yeah, I have been I have indigestion for the last few years. You know, every time I eat food, I feel you know always get constantly get upset in my tummy. And uh, do you change your bowel habit? 
Yeah, I got to, for last, I have to be honest, last few years, you know, my heart valve is not the best. Uh, sometimes I go to the toilet, you know, every second day. Before that, I go to the toilet every day. But it's a bit constipation, but no diarrhea. And uh, do you know the color of your stool uh, and urine? Uh, the color you the my stool bit funny. I look a bit pale, quite a bit pale color. And my urine can be dark. It you look like very yellowish color, very dark yellow. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I will ask about your past medical history. And do you have any uh, diagnosed disease? About your liver, um, GI tract. Um, no, I I have uh, I've been diagnosed with hepatitis B carrier, and the doctor advised me to have the blood test every six months to check my liver function. But I don't have money, so I don't go back to see doctor. But I I I'm a happy carrier. But I don't have any other surgery. I've been you know okay. Did you take any medication now? Uh, I don't take any medication, uh, but apart, you know, cough and cold, sometimes I take, you know, paracetamol, but nothing else. And um, do you drink alcohol? Uh, to be honest with you, I've been drinking alcohol all my life. My father was a drinker. When I was little, he made me drink alcohol with him in the party. So I've just become alcohol is a part of my life. I drink whatever, you know, I got chance to drink and I drink or my friend, I drink, I never get drunk. Uh, uh, so you still drink alcohol now? Oh uh, yeah, that part after work, what do I do? I go to, you know, to the pub, I drink beer. I drink until, you know, I, but I never get drunk. Okay. And, uh, do you smoke tobacco? Oh, yeah, of course. When you go to the pub, what you do? You drink and you smoke. That's the normal thing, is it? And uh, how much cigarettes uh, did you take? I, I smoke about one packet a day. That's normal. Everyone around, around me smoke. So why don't I? Okay. And uh, do you have any No. Uh, no. uh, in your family, is there anyone who has the same symptom like you? My mother is hepatitis B. She got hepatitis B and she died with a liver failure. And they said her liver very rock hard before she died. She's swollen up like a balloon before she died. Your, your mother have liver disease. Yeah, I think she said she died from a liver failure. Okay. Yes. And so we have that's it on my question. Okay, uh, in on examination, what do you want to do? General, general, general observation. Uh, I will look over on the patient to see uh, whether if he uh, is uh, stable or he is so weak. And I will take the vital sign and then I uh, mm -hmm. will check the abdomen first. Um, I will look at the skin, uh, the color of the skin and uh, the eye. And, uh, and I will also find is there any bruise on the skin and uh, then I will um, um, percuss the uh, abdomen and uh, to find to and make the uh, test uh, the fluid weight test then I will uh, pump it to find uh, is there any uh, pain size and uh, also evaluate the, the size of the liver and the spleen. And um, I also need to find a size like a spider, um, 
erythromas or any uh, red palm. Mm. And, uh, Spider and UV, yeah, okay. Mm. Okay, and what, what investigation do you want to do? Uh, first, I will take a uh, uh, full of blood count and uh, the uh, RBC and hemoglobin. And uh, then I will t uh, test the uh, liver enzyme and the uh, serum uh, albumin and bilirubin. <coughs> Um, and then I also check the blood glucose and the the blood test of uh, urea, urea and uh, creatinine. And um, I will take the uh, abdominal uh, ultrasound to find uh, is there any uh, abdom abnormal in the liver. And uh, also find some in uh, evaluate the size or any um, normal thing in the liver and uh, the, the bile duct. And uh, you want you want to test a hepatitis B and C, a HIV. What? You want to test a hepatitis status? Hepatitis. Yeah. Oh, I also check for the uh, hepat hepatitis B uh, antigen. And okay, right, okay. Okay, um, the case finished here. Um, it's okay, good, you didn't go out, you handle pressure quite well. Just stop looking at the screen, you know, other screen, because you try to get information. Uh, looking, you know, this lay patient could be, you know, cirrhosis liver or liver failure from, you know, alcoholic or hepatitis or combined. So you need to check the liver function test, ASD, ALT, gamma GT, you're looking for bilirubin and uh, the liver function test. Also, you need to coagulation test on her because they, you know, all the, the, all the factors, three, six, three, five, eight, Nine is all, I think at night, or you know, it's synthesized by the liver. So, you need to check her coag coagulation test and need to do check her also hepatitis C to sometimes, you know, you, anyone with hepatitis C needs to see and also check her HIV and you know, all that thing. And and you forgot about us with the weight loss, weight gain, he been losing weight, and weight loss, weight gain, appetite. And, but it does ask quite a good question. So I think in general it's quite good. Um, uh, so you probably end up here. Um, maybe you have to, I'm not sure, but we apologize for the last two doctors. We might not have time to go through. We got nearly you know, four hours gone. So can we get the back of the, the camera back to the class so we can give some feedback to the whole class before we call off the meeting today? I All right, hello class. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, Dr. Vang and Dr. T, so normally we end up with your Dr. T, you make everyone, you know, relief and laugh, but I think we almost, we run out over time for an hour. So I just in summing up today, um, I have to congratulate, your English is improving big time. A very good listening skill are excellent. You can understand, is, even my accent, you still can understand quite well. And I speak quite fast, you understand quite well. You, you know, reply the question quite nice way and grammar is good, uh, vocab is good. But I think one thing you, before we go further, the, please don't ask a patient what associated symptom. You, that's not, it's not a question. You, might have, you know if they got, you know, something related to like, if you get your gastric bleeding, you have, or you have any vomiting, nausea, vomiting, weight loss, or something or pain, that's an associated symptom. And yeah, you, that's the one you need to ask. 
don't ask them, do you have any associated symptoms? What, what, what symptoms? Patient don't know it. You have to specify that. Stop using that line. And, and, but in general, some people are still skipping, you know, the, toward the end of the, 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 the session today, I see the market improvement. People start more systematic and they don't skipping, you know, all the, the one on the template, like past medical history, family history. They, 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 they get in the habit, the good thing about it, the good. And they not jump straight into, you know, like, 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 like management or investigation. General, obs general observation still, again, a lot of people are missing it. I, I think that's a very important, that 30% of the time you look at a patient, you can tell what's wrong with the patient. Please, that not, they don't ignore it, don't overlook it. Like the last case, if the patient you generally look, you look whether it's a cachexic, they look, you know, uh, edematous, or get a jaundice. You know, yeah, look at yellowish color, or, you know, like, like skin color, jaundice, or say that the eye, yellow eye, that general observation that already gives you something information about, you know, the patient condition. So it's a very good in a way. I think the format doing okay would prepare you with a more, you know, both communication and more medical knowledge. You can do more research into, you know, the problem you're learning and you get more investigation. But I just try to, again, steer people away from jumps too quick to the big investigations. Yeah, and you, you know, you, uh, the last few talk of blood to white blood cell cow, CRP, it's a pretty good, very improving big time in terms of beginning of the class. So I'm very proud. Um, you're doing very well. So the next three, four weeks won't be my. So I think probably you, I think I heard, I read some of the comment on the, uh, on the Facebook that, you know, you, you think you saw, you saw me. I think probably, okay, so next few weeks you won't be saw anymore. But uh, I'll be on the background, you can post your thing and I can help you with, you know, in, I might be so harsh in terms of, you know, making or negative feedback. But I will, if you will, I'm not as sure you're willing to learn. So do, you're doing very well. So congratulations, class. You can see Dr. Lang is very, very tired. She moved her camera up and down like, you know, she just so suddenly disappeared and she moved camera up. <laughs> I'm sure she was sleeping somewhere there, uh, I can say. But and Min is just really, Min is just saying um, he meditating, he's sitting there and Bang just smiling. Uh, so that's a good thing. Good class, four hours long and very long hours. You cope with us very well. So congratulations. And Dr. T, you want to say anything or you missed, you missed, you know, like, like, like make us laughing. <laughs> All right, um, I'll hand over to Anna Vang Mechi Loang Basimun. See, you got any you know, feedback to the student? And uh, and that's that you can go out to eat whatever for whatever in Cần Thơ. Um, I'll talk about Cần Thơ trip. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll I think a very big temptation to visit you one day in December. Okay. Thank you, uh, Dr. Fu. Uh, today is a really, really long hours for us, but anyway, uh, I'm very happy that we're near, near at the end. Anyway, uh, I just want to uh, tell about the next section okay, before Dr. Mindo and Dr. Luang say, because next section you will be with Dr. Win again. And again, we will have the class on Saturday instead of Sunday. That's correct. So uh, that's the way I can make arrangement. Until now, even though I get I contacted with Dr. Win, but so far I haven't heard anything from him yet about your homework. So I'm very sorry that is it's not in my control uh, from uh, Dr. Win's control. So I hope that he will give you soon uh, and make sure you still not escape from Dr. Fu. Okay, Dr. Fu will go to session number nine. So, uh, he's still there for you. Okay. Uh,
just about okay, a little bit noisy. I would like to tell you that right now we already have few classes, but your sound, your technical, we still have some problems there, and we really like you have two camera, at least two camera, so like we can watch the whole class and people who come camera because today they have no idea that what your activity is when talking. Uh, and the last, last but not least, okay, I just make sure I want to tell you that you make a lot of improvement. I have very good about your, um, uh, your, uh, your interview, but you have the problem with diagnosis. We hope that we turn up it later. Thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Long, any any uh, comments for the class today? <laughs> yeah, for me, I got to thank uh, Dr. Uh, um, he's on the marathon <laughs> this weekend to, to, to have the cancer talk to join our journal club and now stay with us for four hours straight for this class. I really... <laughs> Dr. Vang, <laughs> Din Vang, he's <laughs> thanks and, and Vang a lot. Um, uh, yeah, for the class, um, seem like your English is uh, not a big problem anymore. Um, thanks to all the homework uh, Dr. Dr. Fu gave you throughout the weekend. So it shows, yeah, it shows. You put in your effort, you put your time in, you make improvement, that's great. Uh, so now the next step, put your effort into thinking critically. You now the doctor, or soon to be the doctor. Think about um, what the patient in front of you, not, not just ask questions because you have to ask questions. Now, after the first few questions, you have some idea what the patient has. So yeah, follow the template, uh, get the better picture of that. But Sometimes we guess it's wrong. So have your backup plan, plan B, plan C, have the differential diagnosis. And ask about that too. Patient don't, won't come with us with the textbook case of, of symptoms. So sometimes what we guess is wrong. So ask about other uh, differential so that you can form the differential diagnosis later on. You can order tests to rule out other conditions later on. So, um, yeah, so I don't know if we have the chance to really go to discussion about the case in the future, why you order that, that test, why you, you think about the patient has that condition. Yeah, because um, in, in, in clinical practice, when you row with your doctor, they will ask you about that. The patient has these conditions. Um, why do you think the patient has this condition? You have to answer because the patient has this symptom, because the patient has this sign on before examinations, and then that's why I ordered that test to rule out. And as I said earlier, um, yeah, only you if you look for something, then you may find it. Otherwise, you miss a lot. So, if you have some condition of the uh, patient have in mind you know about that problem, you go look for that symptoms. You order the test to confirm or to rule out that. So that's uh, the next thing we're going to do in, in, uh, in a few the next sections. I will have um, uh, uh, um, a session with you uh, in two weeks. Uh, at that time, we move on to the different uh, stage. So uh, hopefully you uh, get over with uh, with, uh, with this, uh, um, get through the template, get through the forming diagnosis, and uh, ready for, for the next stage after the class with Dr. Lin. But uh, you make great improvement, exercise, homework help, so um, keep on doing that. But, uh, yeah, you, you only get better and better. Thank you, Lan. No. Okay, so I think it's 
no other questions. Um, I think we can uh, conclude the session over here. Let and Jin to go to bed, get your mind sleep, and thanks a lot and Sue for for helping uh, with the class and with the junior club also. Okay. And any question? You just post on the, our Facebook, okay? And we talk about that. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Everybody. Thank you.